Hey guys, Jay, welcome back to the channel. Oh man, what a week. What a week. What a week of toys, man. Actually, in reality, there wasn't really that much to talk about. Um, <laughs> this actually was kind of a, 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 a thin week for toys. But then right at the end, bang, like it, it went from zero to a hundred in like no time. It, it literally was the last two days were just absolutely bonkers. They were literally, literally bonkers. And <clears throat> for more for more reasons than one, mostly surprises, actually. A lot of crazy uh, surprises. Some things we were expecting, but uh, for the most for the most part, it was pretty crazy uh, right at the end. Um, uh, you know, the, the week started out, I mean, very strange. Uh, for you, for those of you who, who were paying attention uh, and, and looking at my channel, it kind of went from it kind of went from being toys to being celestial. You know what I mean? Like uh, like we had a, 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 a um, uh, what's it called? Uh, a, a solar eclipse. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that was that was that was really interesting. We had a solar eclipse this week. Um, and. At, at, at least in, in, in the greater Toronto area uh, up here in Canada where I live, um, we hadn't seen an eclipse in this area for the past 40 years. So this was a big deal. This was a, a freaking big deal. And <laughs> yeah, so Dex uh, decided uh, in, his, in his ultimate uh, wisdom to, to grab the family and, and, and basically head over to uh, Port Erie, a uh, fort, sorry, Fort Erie uh, here, here in, um, uh, which is not that far away from, from Niagara Falls. Uh, and yeah, we just basically piled into a car and, and a, a truck and, and just headed over to, to, to Port Erie, um, which in and of itself is kind of cool. I mean, like, uh, you know, haven't been on a road trip with, with my folks in years. So, you know, getting, getting to know each other again, you know, seeing, how everybody was, you know, uh, Dex and I hang out a lot. So for, for us, it was old world. Um, heading there was great. Heading there was freaking awesome. Um, Port, uh, Fort Erie is a nice town. Uh, very, very, very rural. Uh, no, rural isn't, rural isn't the, the, it's not rural. What am I talking about? No, it's, it's remote. <laughs> it is remote. A uh, lot of farm country there. Like, you know, a lot of fields, a lot of, uh, a lot of things going. Uh, not a lot happening there in Port Erie. Let's 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 put it that way. Uh, but what they do have is tourism. They have they have um, a lot of uh, things that you can see uh, because again they're so close to Niagara Falls. And um, uh, for those of you who don't know, there's a, a a bunch of casinos in Niagara Falls. So there's a lot of tourism that goes through uh, that area. There's also this place called Niagara on the Lake here in Canada, uh, which is freaking crazy. Like if you want. If you want a place where you want to get married, that is that is like the place. It's like this picturesque wine country kind of kind of thing in the middle of Canada. Um, not the middle, sorry, the the, the the lower part of Canada, right beside right beside the American border. And apparently, that place is where is where like making wine, the 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 the, the, um, the qualities of the area or the, uh, the the everything about the area is just perfect for 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 making wine. It's it's a really strange. A little little atmospheric kind of thing, but anyway, uh, when you're when you're down there, it's like a villa. You know, there there there's like rolling hills and 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 like like I said, vineyards and, and a whole bunch of places. So it's just perfect. It's like uh, they make ice wine there, which was a big thing for Canada for one, for a while. Um, but yeah, the the we went there for the eclipse. It happened. I did a video about it. Uh, craziest thing I'd ever experienced. Uh, if you guys haven't watched it already, I encourage you guys to watch it because. I'd never seen anything like it. Like it was daytime in one one moment, and it was literally nighttime for four whole minutes, uh, and then the sun came out again, and it looked like it was it was daytime all over again. It was crazy. I saw two sunsets in one day. Um, it was it, it, three actually technically uh, no sorry I saw two sunsets in a day, and I saw two uh, evenings in a day. I saw I saw two dusks, uh, two dawns and two dusks. It was crazy. It was absolutely crazy. Um, yeah, once in a lifetime experience. Uh, you know what? Actually, yeah, I suppose I suppose you could count it as a once in a lifetime experience. It's hard to catch these things. In order to, for you to see another solar eclipse in your lifetime, you'd have to like uh, figure out where it is. You have to, and sometimes it's in the middle of the ocean. 
You know what I mean? You, ha- you have to like go there and actually experience it where nobody else is. So this was a once in a lo- lifetime opportunity. Um, so it was great. It was it was it was an amazing experience. Got stuck in traffic on the way home. That was not pleasant. We ended up on the road for a good three hours at first, just trying to get back to uh, to Markham and to and Toronto uh, from Fort Erie, and then and then we ended up just getting uh, so upset. At, at the oh, it was more more. Dex was just pissed off, uh, st- 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 being stuck in like gridlock traffic. We ended up just detouring, heading off to uh, to a, a restaurant called Moxie's. We had a we had a choice. It was either going to be uh, Denny's or Moxie's, and and I think Dex was just like, "I'm all breakfast out," and I'm like, "We don't. There's more stuff to to eat at Denny's than breakfast." He's like, "He's like, screw it, let's just go to Moxie's," and we ended up going to this place called Moxie's. Very very. Uh, nah, I don't know. High end food is not the crazy. It's it was it was pricey. It was it was pricey for my opinion. But honestly, I have to admit they had some of the tastiest nachos uh, that I've had in a while. So it, it wasn't it wasn't a loss. It was actually a pretty good pretty good idea. Um, but then uh, back on the road, and it took another two hours and a half to get to get back home. Uh, I ended up driving another half an hour north. So, uh, yeah, you know the everybody else went home. It, it was it was a great experience though. Um, and yeah, I posted the video. A lot of, a lot of people had fun with that. Uh, and then the rest of the week was kind of chill. You know, there, there really wasn't much going on, uh, you know, for toys, really. Um, we found out a few things for Master Universe, I, you know, um, box release, you know, like, uh, like, uh, images for the boxes and, and certain things along those lines. But, but for the most part, it was, it was, it was rather, rather chill. And then really, literally around the, uh, I think it was like Thursday or Friday, like Hasbro, what the heck is going on with Hasbro, man? Hasbro, I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know what what's going on there. Leaks, you know, freaking uh, uh, like surprise releases. Uh, people are just talking about how the fact repaints and repaints and repaints. And, you know, like people are just going freaking nuts with Hasbro right now, and it's it's pretty crazy. Um, oh, I forgot to mention. Uh, prior to that, yeah, before I headed over uh, over to Fort Erie, um. Uh, yeah, I, I ended up uh visiting the uh, the first annual or, or at least uh, you know uh convention uh toying around uh you know Kevin over at toying around he basically put on a, a show and yeah it was interesting I I took some footage and um I wanted to copy it to my computer uh to show you guys but I might have to just show it to you on my on my uh, on my on my phone because. I couldn't actually get it done done in time. It was something was going on. It was actually pausing, um, but yeah, that was fun. Uh, you know, he had a couple of celebrities there. He had uh, uh, Paul Sung. Uh, I can't remember his last name, uh, but yeah, he he was there. Uh, General Iroh, um, uh, uh, Star Wars. You know, uh, Kim's Convenience. You guys probably have uh, have uh, have heard of him. Uh, really great actor. Very 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 personable Canadian. So really great guy. Um, uh, the voice actor for Wolverine was there uh, from the, from the 19, from the ninety seven uh, television series, actually from nineteen ninety seven. Um, and I think a Power Ranger was there. So that was a lot. That was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. And I met somebody there who I didn't expect to meet there. Um, that's going to come up in a, in, a, in an episode pretty soon. Uh, that was a lot of fun uh, being there, and I think you guys will enjoy it. Um, did a little bit of hunting there, but not, didn't find anything I was looking for, so that was a little disappointing. Although I do have to say, I found a DVD set, which I really would have wa- wanted to wanted to pick up, but he didn't have part two of the set, so I was kind of, I was kind of like, do I really want to pick this up if I don't have part two? Because I really want to have part two. So it's one of those things. I, I if 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 I don't have the two halves of the of the set, I'm kind of like, yeah, I, you know, I, I'm gonna pass. So unfortunately, I didn't pick up that one. Uh, it was unfortunate, but. Uh, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun uh, being there and and checking that out. So very very cool. Um, yeah, a lot of things going on uh, at the end of the week. Um, this past actually today, uh, today actually, um, a couple things happened. Uh, uh, Mondo Tila, uh, you know, we're going to talk about her um, and uh, Spiro Toys is about to end its run. If anybody is still looking at Animal Warriors of the Kingdom, uh, that's definitely something you know you got to jump on, guys. You definitely have to jump on on that one. 
Um, and Delta 17, uh, Delta 17, the newest 3.75 inch action figures, three and three quarter inch action figures. Uh, they went up on sale today. They went up on, 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 uh, I think I'm making a mistake. I'm not saying pre-order. They actually have them in stock. What the heck am I talking about? They actually went up for sale today, and and you guys can actually order them right now. Um, and we're gonna go through all those all those things and talk about that today. Um, and then I I don't know what to think about this because um, I've actually made I've actually made mention of it before. Uh, but uh, Spectre Creative is back in the um, in the supposed highlight. Um, because something might be, I, I, you know, there are rumors going around he might lose his channel again. Um, and I, I think Dad at Arms, uh, I, I think Brick something was the one who who sent me the the video uh, for the Dad at Arms interview with the young man who actually might be responsible for the takedown of of Spectre Creative's channel. Um, I, I haven't watched the full video yet, but. On 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 the first like I guess twenty minutes, it it's interesting hearing the other side of the story. Um, you know, I know Scott personally to a certain degree. We've had him on the channel a couple of times, and again, I I'm I'm always of the opinion that you should respect uh you know what he what he brought to the Master Universe community at the time. Um, obviously, what he's done since then, you know, take it or leave it. I mean, like you know, he he has an opinion. He's a very opinionated person. Uh, did he deserve to lose his channel? You know, it, it's it's not really anyone's, uh, you know, no, no one can really say, right? I, I personally don't think anyone should lose their channel over something like this. And actually, when you listen to the interview, the way it first starts out, there was never an intention to take his channel down completely. It was just a misunderstanding. I think that, I think that the YouTube system of um of governance is a bit heavy-handed i think it's always been like that a lot of people talk about it um you know the copyright strikes and and um the legal aspect of uh youtube in terms of like how they handle um uh you know intellectual properties and stuff it's it's rough you know you can lose your channel for the for the smallest things it's, it's actually kind of crazy um so yeah it it it, it it's an interesting listen to. I haven't finished listening to it, so I'm not really going to talk too much about it. But uh, I thought it was noteworthy, at least, because it is one of those situations where, you know, why are you losing your channel? If you're a content creator, uh, and Scott in particular, you know, who uses his YouTube channel to actually, uh, you know, get people to, to um, you know, utilize his services, right? So for him, it's part of his livelihood. So... Taking down his channel can really be detrimental and 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 um, affect his overall ability to make money. So it's it's a it's a very difficult situation, right? And then there's other parties involved who, um, you know, got in in the in the middle of everything for whatever reason, uh, and uh, you know might have made the situation worse. It's it's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. So uh, anybody if anybody who's following it. Uh, please feel free to to chime in, but let's keep this civil. Let's not talk about ah, Scott Knight, like blah blah blah. You know, ah, this that this that. Oh, this other person should never take. You know, let's 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 keep that part of it civil. Um, at the end of the day, you know, Scott, uh, for for whether it's intentional or not, he's always been a bit controversial. Um, so, uh, you know, it's gonna it's gonna be a, a bit of a talking part. A talking point, right? It's going to be one of those one of those uh, bits that we talk about a little bit, right? So, anyway, that aside, this week has been very, very interesting in terms of the, of toys and, of course, ind ind independent toys as well. Um, let's say hi to everybody in the chat. Thank you guys for being here tonight. It's been announced. It's it's absolutely amazing uh, to always be able to hang out with you guys. Uh, now that I'm not coughing my brains out, I mean, like that, you know, that 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 is that is. That is a thing. That is a thing right now. Frankie Rivera, what's up, Jay? Hello, everybody. Let's freaking go. Good to see you, Frankie. How are you doing tonight, my friend? On you 83, what's going on? How are you doing, my friend? Good to see you. Uh, Gita's Teal, uh, uh, good to see you, bro. How are you doing tonight? Uh, got your Tila and paid in full. Now's time, time to relax. Yes. I, it was kind of hairy for that, hairy there for a moment for, for, for myself as well. Darakuto, Tila, you suhu. Uh, hope everyone wanted, uh, who, the, everyone that wanted her got her. 
I'm all in the Mondo X Men. I can only do one franchise at a time. I know it's hard, brother. It's hard. It is really, really hard. Uh, Jidis, um, same. I made sure to order my Mondo Tila before it was too late. It was crazy. It was absolutely crazy. Uh, Derek, come to Ajax Con this Sunday. I missed you over at over at Toying Around Con, brother. Like I can't believe li literally we were, we were like what what was it five minutes apart. When I had to go and you just walked in the door, it was crazy. Um, yeah, I, I, it's it's right. It's not that far away. It's only about half an hour. So yeah, I might I might make the trek. I might make the trek down there, Derek. You never know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, Lost in Wallace got Giant Man and Wasp Day. And we're gonna talk about that too. Uh, fastest turnaround I've ever seen. I've ever seen yet from Hasbro. Crazy, crazy. You actually got them in in, uh, in your hands, dude. Did you actually get them in your hand? That's crazy. That's 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 absolutely nuts. Um, Sabir de Norte. Uh, evening all. I apologize if I uh, if I if I um, um, messed up your name, and I believe it's uh, uh, Sabir del Norte. Uh, I pre-ordered Tila as well. This is actually my first Mondo pre-order ever. I missed the prior the priors, unfortunately, as it wasn't really aware. But brother, there are uh, avail they they are available uh, either on Mondo or you can actually pick up a couple of them on Entertainment Earth and and Big Bad Toy Store. Uh, definitely check it out. I'll, I'll 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 circle back to your question a little later, uh, to your to your comment a little later. We'll 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 take a look at it. Uh, Lost in Wallace. Uh, my guess is Hasbro couldn't get Giant Man and Wasp two pack in the factory schedule last year in time for Hasdat because Chinese New Year shutdowns. Factories can only take on so much. Uh, I have a, a bunch of things to talk about there for a little bit because it says um, uh, Q gets filled up. Yes, this is true. I mean, the Giant, Giant Man and Wasp came out early. As a result, uh, just an educated guess. Eh, it, it's not a bad guess, that's for sure. Lord Hoggy's Lord Hoagie's in the house. What's going on, my friend? Kenzo. Happy Friday, everybody. Kenzo's in the house. Good to see you. Um, Lost in. I do packaging artwork for Boss Fight Studios. Woohoo, dude. Are you serious? That's awesome. Uh, and they're always telling me that we need to get everything done on time because they can't afford to lose their spot in the queue. Got you. Wow. Lost in. That's, that's it's a, an, an interesting insight, brother. That's an interesting insight. Uh, would love to talk to you uh, at some point about you about uh, about packaging. Uh, you know, I'm I'm a graphic designer myself, so I love uh, I love packaging. I just love it. Uh, Andrew Davis, what's going on, brother? Let there be light. Yes, let there be light, my friend. Um, uh, Derek Kuto, that was a cool video. Of these clips. I hope you had a great time in Niagara. I know there was over one million peeps, dude. It took forever to get home. It took absolute forever. If you combine the time on the road and the fact that we actually stopped for dinner for an hour and a half, it was well over six hours. It took us six hours to get home, and it's not that far. It's it's like it's like an hour and a half on a good day. Okay, so that just made no sense. Dave Sinelli only missed three minutes. Uh, good thing I checked YouTube. <laughs> there you go, brother. Uh, good to see you, Dave. Um, close to Crystal Beach. Also, uh, Sheridan Beach is so fun. Yeah, yeah. Shek Shekston Beach. I don't know about that. Uh, the next one is in 2070. Wow, wow, that's that's crazy. Moxie, box, uh, Moxie is definitely overpriced, dude. It was it was pricey as hell. It was pricey as hell. But like I said, uh, the the nachos were were pretty good. I'm not gonna lie about that. Addy boy just came in, and the first thing I heard was nachos. Yes, nachos. You gotta love those nachos. I love nachos. Figuratively speaking, what's going on, my friend? How you doing tonight? Always good to see you. Uh, Cal Dodd was awesome. Oh yeah, 100. percent uh, figuratively speaking, hit that like button, y'all. Thank you so much, figuratively speaking. Always good to see my friend, figuratively speaking, in the channel. Clint Jargonson, here because Frankie sent me. Oh, sweet. Always good to have Frankie telling everybody to come on down. Uh, Jason's Electric. Jay, are you coming to the Astronomicon? Astronomicon in Detroit this weekend. Astronomicon. What is Astronomicon? What is that? What is Astronomicon? Hmm. Astronomicon. Okay, Astronomicon. Uh, is that a thing? What is that? What is Astronomicon? Um, Astronomicon 7 um, in Michigan. Michigan? What? Hold on. Am I looking at the right thing? Michael Rooker's going to be there. Kane. Uh, huh. I don't know. I guess not. <laughs> I'm not really sure. Uh, Am I looking at the right thing? April 12th to 14th? That's happening this weekend. That's crazy. I can know well, the answer is going to be no. <laughs> if that's the thing that we're talking about. Oh, this week. Yeah, no, no, no. No, I, I no, I can't. <laughs> There's I I I I uh I had no plans to go. And yeah, I mean like 
Burton Manor Livona. Like, where is that? Is that actually in Detroit? I know it says Michigan, but I didn't think it was Detroit. A lot of great celebrities there for sure. I mean, like a uh, bunch of wrestlers and you know, maybe I should share what I'm looking at here. <laughs> that that would be novel, right? That would be a novel thing to do. Let me just uh yeah, let me let me share with the people here. Um Yeah, Astronomicon, uh, apparently, is happening this weekend. I didn't even know that. So, Jason Lesher, thank you for letting us know about that. Astronomicon 7, uh, April 12th to the 14th, 2024. So, this weekend, if anybody's out that way. Um, Michael Rook is going to be there. Mick Foley, uh, Kane. So, uh, some celebrities, a couple of wrestlers. Spencer Carnus, uh, Charnus. I have no idea. Nine Inch Nail. Oh, really? Rock City. Okay. He... We have a singer who went there. Jamie Kennedy is going to be there. A couple of television and movie personalities. Kurt Angle, a lot of a lot of wrestlers. Matt Hardy, another another wrestling superstar. Um, Amy McCain, uh, McLean, uh, actress, little girl, pale girl. Huh, a lot of horror. There's going to be a bunch of Power Rangers there. We got David Yost, Walter Jones, Billy West. Oh, famous voice actor. Um, Roger Bumpus. I said Bumpus, by the way. Um, uh, Squidward. Um, more wrestlers. Holy crap. Rob Van Dam. Uh, Matt Riddle. Heather Matrazo. Oh, yeah, she was in Scream. Huh. Roger Jackson, Bill Morrison, Kane, uh, Kane Hooter. Kane Hooter. I guess he was Jason. Um, Bob Elmore for Chainsaw Massacre 2. Bill Mosley. Cooper Andrews. Oh yeah, he was in The Living Dead, or Walking Dead. Wasn't he also? Wasn't he also in? Um, was was he in Shazam? Cooper Andrews. Somebody can correct me if I'm wrong about that. I could have sworn he was in Shazam. Uh, Josh Mickle, Adam Green, Josh Lynch, uh, Twisted. Yeah, a lot, a lot, a lot of celebrities and and music musical talent. A lot of wrestlers. Oh, Sergeant Slaughter's going to be there. Cool. Yeah, man, that's pretty good. Like, wow. Holy crap, there's a lot of musicians coming. Holy crap. A lot of comic book artists as well. Yeah, not bad. Cosplayers. Good stuff. Awesome. So, yeah, guys, uh, Astronomicon uh, 7. April 7th to the 14th. It's a... Uh, no, it's April 12th to the 14th. What am I talking about? 12th to the 14th. Three-day convention. No, two-day convention. 12. 13. No, three-day convention. It started today. Yesterday. It started yesterday. Yeah, it started today. Sorry. Wow. So, yeah. no. The answer is going to be no. I'm sorry. I, 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 I won't be able to make it out that far uh, this weekend anyway. I mean, I, 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 did, a lot of drive, I, I did a lot of driving on, on, uh, on, on the, the other day. So, I'm, uh, I'm kind of tapped out that way. <laughs> I'm kind of tapped out, guys, a little bit. Um Let's see here. Who haven't we said hi to yet? Um, Addy Boy. Uh, oh, yeah. We already talked to Addy Boy. Let's see. Anybody else who... Uh, okay. Yo, Joe OC. What's going on, brother? How are you doing tonight? Just got some Delta 17 toys. Nice. Nice. Very nice. Frankie Rivera. Grab that punk from TMNT Holothon today. Nice. Good stuff. Uh, I heard it was kind of a... I heard it was easy peasy. Oh, Toy Connections in the house. Oh, shit. I forgot to send the link. <laughs> All right. Hold on. Um, let me send off the link. Uh, yeah, there we go. All right, sorry guys, I forgot to send the link. Uh, yeah, we're we're, we're going to be joined by um by uh, uh toy connections a little later along with um Delta Seventeen. Uh, we'd love to talk to them about their launch today. We had a bit of a launch party earlier. Uh, John the Uh, yes, uh, actually, we're going to talk about John in a minute. I have that all set up. Uh, guys, definitely. Um. Some unfortunate things have happened to John Ratulewski, one of the one of our great community members here, uh, and we're going to talk about John in a little bit. So thanks for reminding me, John. Uh, Clint Jorgensen, what's going on, my friend? How are you doing tonight? Uh, Healing Dread is in the house. Frankie Rivera, Clint, spelled your last name wrong. <laughs> uh, uh, Healing Dread is in the house. What's going on, brother? Kenzo is in the house as well. Chad Stewart, always good to see him. Mondo Tila, waba waba waba, wink wink wink. <laughs> Ramen toys in the house. Uh, 
Hey, and um, uh, if Ram, uh, uh, Ace, if you want to join us, let me know. I'll put the link in the um, I'll put the link in the chat. Maybe we can talk a little bit because uh, apparently I didn't know this. Um, uh, Ramen is actually going to. I did not know this. Ramen is actually going to uh, Joe Fest, where surprisingly enough, I'm going to go to Joe Fest this year um, to talk more about Delta 17. It's going to be a, so much fun. So you know what? I'll put the. Uh, I'll put it in the chat here. Uh, let me see here. Where are we here? If you can make it, uh, Ace. If not, don't worry about it. Oh, my gosh. Holy crap. Kagali Miles. Oh, one of my original supporters on Patreon. Welcome, Kagali. Always great to see Princess Kagali. Jay, it's been a minute. Brother, it has been too long. Good to see you. Thank you so much for, for being here. Always great to see Kagali Miles. Thank you so much for being here, Kagali. Always great to see one of my original uh, Patreon supporters. Actually, I believe uh, they are my original uh, Patreon supporters. So huge, absolutely huge. Always great. Emails, uh, with Gracious Ace. Uh, here, time to start it all. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Anybody else we've missed? Figured it was piece in the house. Pedro Lopez, what's going on, my friend? How are you doing tonight? Um, Sabir, uh, Sabir del, del Norte. Uh, you are good, Jay. Th uh, that's the correct pronunciation. Thank you, brother. <laughs> I'm terrible with pronunciation. So, Sabir, thank you so much. I appreciate that. And I'm, I'm sure you're being very, very kind. Uh, Mr. Vice, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, hey, Jay, looking forward to to any Mondo news. No, it's not really mon Mondo news. It's actually more like Mondo finish. Um, uh, Sabir, I got the Mondo He-Man version one, but was from the secondary market, but new and awesome figure in one six scale. Yeah, we're going to come back to that. Um, Papatine, 1975. How are you doing? How are you doing, my lord? Good to see you, Lord Palpatine. Always. Dave Sinelli, any word on Origins Geldor and Demo Man? Well, I mean, other than what's already been presented, no. So that'll be a more than likely it'll be a Mattel Creations exclusive. Old IT guy, what's going on, brother? Glad I may have been able to check the show. Having hot wings and cold drink. Life is good. Um, yeah, old IT guy. Uh it did work, but we gotta this. We gotta do some more work on it. Uh, uh, that's a cryptic way of saying I, uh, it, things are going smoothly. Uh, Drew Lees, all the way from Switzerland. Wow, welcome, Drew. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, holy cow, I don't think I've ever had any viewers from Switzerland before. Welcome, holy crap. Thank you for being here tonight. Uh, you'll just see. Uh, you're going to San Diego Comic Con. Sweet. If something, if, if if the stars align, I might be heading back to San Diego Comic Con for the first time in years. We'll see what happens. Uh, Dave Sinelli, check the upper corner, Jay. Bag the King Grayskull. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. I have no idea what you're talking about, Dave. Uh, I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, Frank Rivera, Sunday, uh, Saturday, nice. Yep, yep, we shall see. Uh, Sabu, nice. Okay, Sabu, nice. <laughs> Chris Allen's in the house. What's going on, brother? How are you doing tonight? Um, Clint Jorgensen, I predicted Toy Connections will be on tonight. Of course. The great Ken. The great Ken is always available. <laughs> Who wants the belt? Bring it, bro. Bring it right now. Uh, Clint! Uh, Derek Dalzell. Uh, what's going on, brother? How are you doing tonight? Um, let's see here. Uh, long live Delta 17. Yes, long live the Delta 17. Uh, Clint Jorgensen. Uh, Ken, did you, did you get the Mattel Heart Foundation figs? Oh, that is a good question. Ramen is in the house. Uh, Clint Jorgensen. Uh, Got to try to get to Joe Fest. It will be tough. Uh, you know what? It's going to be interesting. I've never been to Joe Fest, so this is going to be an awesome, awesome kind of thing to experience. If any, if it's anything like um, like uh, um, PowerCon, it's going to be great. Um, Dave Sinelli, exclusives, nuts. I know, right? Justin Mohan, uh, Delta Seventeen stuff. I saw Justin at the. Uh, I saw Justin for the for, uh, for uh, first time in a long time. I I, I saw Justin at. Uh, toy connection, uh, to, um, toying around, toying around con. That was fun to see Justin all over again. It was great. Uh, RC, uh, proto flip is eyeballing King Grayskull. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what you guys are talking about. I have no idea what you guys are talking about. Yo, Joe C, of course, Dark Zelzel. Can't wait to be at PowerCon 2025. It's going to be glorious. It is going to be glorious. All right. Um, so whenever my guests start showing up, we will bring them in because there's a lot of good stuff to talk about tonight. Um, uh, ramen will not be able to make it, which is unfortunate, but that's okay. Uh, you know, every everything, everything happens for a reason. 
Let's talk about what happened this week because this week was it, it was interesting, bar none, guys. This week was a very interesting week. Again, things went from zero to 100 so quickly. Actually, before I get to the events of the week, I did want to say this. Um, I want to talk about uh, John Ratulowski, uh for a little bit. Uh, guys, uh, community member John Ratulowski, um has been a big supporter of the channel. And, of course, uh, we love... I love all you guys, and thank you guys for all the support. But now um, he needs some support. Um, John, unfortunately, has fallen under some hard times. Um, I did not realize this about John. Uh, he is in. He needs. Some, he needs some help. He needs some help. And I think that uh, you know what? We're a community here. We all want to help each other, and especially in the in the hardest of times. Um, I don't want. I don't want to speak too much about this. You definitely should read John's story. Uh, he has a GoFundMe page right now, and uh, which was set up by his wife, uh, Veronica. And um, but just to cut to the chase, uh, John is now a double amputee. Uh, he needs some money to, for to to help with his um his basic cost of living right now, uh, as well as transportation. So they're trying to reach a fourteen thousand dollar goal. Uh, they have 31 donators right now, uh, 300, 370, um, and have raised already uh, $3,575. Um, uh, and this is this is one of those things, guys. Again, we we all fall under hard times eventually, uh, and John definitely needs to be helped and lifted up. Uh, so uh, I'm an idiot. I forgot to actually put uh, a link into the uh, chat, so I'm going to do that right now. Um, I'm putting the link in the chat. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm going to, um, to pin it so you guys can check out uh, the, um, uh, the GoFundMe, the GoFundMe. Um, guys, please, uh, if you, if you do, if you are in the position to help out, John, uh, you know, please do check out the, um, uh, the GoFundMe. Again, we could all, all of us, uh, at one point in our lives, we can, we can definitely. Uh, use the um, the help. I know that the community has come out to help me uh, for the most selfish of reasons, honestly. Um, you know, like Eternia and and things like that. But I am so appreciative of all the help that that the community has ever done for me. You know, um, I'm just trying to to help people and entertain people. But when you really come down to a situation where you absolutely need some real help, um, you know, we we all hope and pray that at some point um you know we 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 can all rely we can always rely on the friends and the people around us um to to come to our aid and you know in this in this particular instance john is definitely in the in in some need of some assistance so uh definitely uh guys if you if you do have the if you do have the availability and the 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 avail the ability to help john uh please check out the GoFundMe. i've linked it in the um, the chat at the top, so you guys can definitely check that out. Um, I'm also going to head over to um, uh, MGR Collector and do the same thing. Um, but, but yeah, guys, uh, again, you just never know when when life is going to hit you like a ton of bricks. Um, so definitely, please, if you are in the position to help out John or give a little bit or give give a lot, that would be excellent. But of course, as I've um, as I've said. Um, what every every little bit counts. So definitely, uh, please consider uh, helping out John uh, in his time of need. Um, uh, please read about read up about John's story. Um, you know it, it's it, it, it's touching and uh, you know quite humbling in many ways. And uh, you know a huge shout out to John's wife uh, for setting up a, a GoFundMe. And I do want to remind everybody: uh, there's no shame. There's no shame in a GoFundMe. You know, uh, I helped out my good friend Oz, Oz Tremendous Toys, um, and thanks to everyone's um, generosity in the community, we were able to get him to PowerCon. Uh, his his son couldn't make it, unfortunately, but it, it was it was one of those things. We do this because we care, you know what I mean. And and John uh, is definitely in need of some assistance right now. So once again, if you guys are able to uh, to help John, please check out the uh, the link I've just put in the chat. Uh, best of luck to you, John. You know the community is here for you. And uh, I hope that uh, this little bit of attention that I can bring to to uh, to one of our community members uh, can help in the in in the in the smallest whatever whatever I can do. 
Uh, I will be putting this up on my social media. So guys, definitely uh, please help lift John up and uh, help him to get uh, the assistance that he needs. A um, lot of things uh, that, that are that are happening. So um, I just wanted to share that out. And again, huge shout out to uh, to Veronica Rataluski uh, for her for her assistance on this. Um, yeah. So John, brother, good journey, man, friend. Best of luck to you. Uh, but this week, um, getting back to the toy news, Mondo, Mondo Tila. Holy crap, Mondo Tila. Uh, and then today, so if you did not get in on the Mondo Tila game, I'm sorry to say you might be ending up uh, uh, holding on to the short end of the staff, if you will, uh, because it is no longer available. She has she has sold out uh, $250 timed edition, uh, which you guys know everything about what I, <laughs> my, my love-hate relationship with the system uh, that Mondo sometimes has. If it's not a timed edition, it is a sellout when it sells out kind of thing, and that just bugs the crap out of me. Um, and of course, as I predicted, the moment she went up as a tease, not even three days later, she was up for pre-order. It was absolutely nuts. Thankfully, as I said, timed editions came to the rescue, and thank goodness, because this, this is one figure you do not want to sleep on, man. Like, um, and I feel sorry for anybody who missed out on this this figure. Um, Sculpt Viper Tommy, Tommy Hodges, the great Tommy Hodges, uh, put this beautiful figure together. And my God, I want to have Tommy on the stream at one point. And I think my good friends over at Delta 17, 5x5 Toys, might be able to put something together for us to actually have a chat with Tommy. Because, I mean, look at look at this gorgeous figure. This gorgeous figure is out of this world. Like, absolutely stunning. I mean, she is just beautiful. Comes with a host of accessories. You know, her caw headdress, her caw staff, um, her sword, her sheath, the traditional shield that she comes with, her staff, um, javelin, uh, all of these swappable hands. And, of course, the three heads, which one of them, if they ever release a standard edition Tila, will probably never be released again. Um, 2000 X Tila, which is a, a fan favorite of a lot of a lot of people, and then we have uh, you know uh, Stoic Tila, and of course pissed off, absolutely uh, pissed off, you know uh, really furled brow uh, Tila. Great stuff. Um, she stands 11.5 inches tall, and she's just absolutely gorgeous. I mean, look 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 at this figure. Uh, Tila is one of those heavy hitters. Bar none, she is just in freaking credible. And again, uh, if you missed out on her, why? Like, you know, you had a whole week to do it. I mean, I, but I, I know exactly why a lot of people could. I mean, I had to move funds around to get her, uh, you know, coming off of um, Flip or, uh, you know, that was that was a huge thing. Uh, because I, I pledged, I had a couple pledges in for Flip or, um, and yeah, I can totally understand why people missed out on her, but dang. That is unfortunate if you missed out on Tila. I mean, look at her. She's freaking uh, the warrior goddess, Tila. I mean, this is one of the best-looking Tilas uh, out there, like seriously. Um, I will say that uh, the production version is a bit different than the Paint Master, uh, and I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it personally, but there are certain cues that I'm, I'm like, what, what's, you know, what happened here? I am very, very happy with the 2000X uh, head sculpt. A 2000X head sculpt is just awesome. Uh, I, I love the bangs. I love the ponytail. I love the tiara. You know, that jovial look, the, the happy-go-lucky look that, that, that Tila brings to, to the adventure. You know what I mean? And, you know, we got He-Man looking at the, at the you know. <laughs> what are you looking at, He-Man? Uh, Duncan, what the hell are you looking at? Jeez, Louise. Duncan's like, if you weren't the most powerful man in the universe, I'd knock your block. Anyway, um, yeah, man. Like, seriously. Warrior goddess Tila? My God. I mean, there she is, fiery red. You know what I mean? What a ginger, I got to tell you. Um, and God, God. Like, why? If you had the ability, if you had the means, please tell me you didn't mess, uh, miss out on Tila. Warrior goddess, because she is just not to be missed. 
just absolutely stunning. And there, again, um, the 2000X version of her, just freaking stunning. Just absolutely out of this world. Absolutely out of this world. Um, yeah, man. Uh, I hope everybody who could get her did get her because then it, then it comes down to the secondary market. And I got to tell you, that secondary market is is painful, man. It's a painful place to be in. Look at Tila just taking down Beast Man. Holy crap. That's the Tila I love. So good. Taking on, uh, again, foes that she shouldn't really be taking on. Uh, the history of Tila, you know, the, the, the goddess character who gave He Man his armor, right? Um, beautiful stuff. You know, her, her, her heraldry, um, you know, the history behind the character with, with the fact that she is destined to become more than she more than she ever was right she is the the next in line for to, to inherit the powers of the sorceress and now with the new um revelation and revolution we find out that th that every facet of these um you know characters for uh sorcerers for sorcerers of past present and future you know we have the cost sorceress we have the havoc sorceress and then of course we have the sorcerers of grace call um, so it's it's an amazing, amazing look. Um, I will I will go ahead and say this: if you compare this head sculpt uh, to the Paint Master, and I wish I had I wish I had it, something happened uh, at the factory with this eye. <laughs> I think this eye is just a little bit too far to the uh, to the to the to the right. Uh, sorry, to the left. Sorry, it's just a bit too far to the left. And uh, I think that if it had been just a, a millimeter or two uh, more to the right, I think it would have been very close to the original paint master. Uh, having said that, that's the only thing that kind of bugs me. There's something about that 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 right eye because if you that's actually your right eye, uh, and the uh, the the, uh, the actual eye itself is actually a little bit. I don't know. That's just me. That's just me. I don't know if anybody else is seeing that, but for me, that's something I just sort of it just sort of got me right. Because if you look at the actual paint master, I'll try to bring it up. Hold on for a second. Instagram. Let's do a quick search on for Tila. Um, let me see if we can find it here. Um, actually, I think I could find it on my own. Hold on for a second here. Um, where would it be? If I go back to Toy News, I'm pretty sure I actually talked about it at the time. The pre-order details. Eh, where are you, Tila? Origins, origins. There it is. Um, let's see if we can find the actual. And of course, I don't have it. Um, yeah, but but uh, truthfully, um, there's just there's just something about it. Uh, the, the 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 final production sample that uh, again, it, the paint master is exactly that. It's a paint master. It's perfect, right? Uh, but when it finally came down to it, uh, there was there was some, there's something about the uh, the final production that is a little bit lost. That's 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 all I'm saying. But other than that, she's just freaking gorgeous. Uh, I hope everybody got her because it would be a damn shame if you missed out on this version of Tila. Once again, I, I want to give a huge shout out to everybody who was involved with the project. Uh, let's just go ahead and shout them out now. Uh, Emiliano Santa Lucia, Florian Bertmer, Mark Bristow, and of course Tommy Hodges, the great Tommy Hodges. Uh, congratulations to everybody who uh, who is involved in this project. Uh, and unfortunately for anybody who was not able to pick this up, my condolences, because she was definitely one not to be missed. Um, I have a guest hanging in the wind, so we're going to bring him in in a second. Uh, but I did want to actually uh, uh, take a few more comments just before because, oh, shit. Okay, never mind. Um, I'll You know what? I'll bring in... I'll bring in our our special guest here right now. That way we can just uh, we can just argue for a bit before uh, moving on to moving on to uh, to the chat because I would love to to answer some questions here, um, guys. Um, oh God, where did it go? Oh, shit, I lost my place. Sorry, guys. Uh, yeah, there that is. And yeah, okay. Um, guys, please help me welcome uh, a very good friend of the channel. He's been here all the he's here all the time. He's here all the time. It's almost like he lives here, but that's okay. We we really appreciate him. Guys, please help me welcome Toy Connections. Ken! What's going on, Ken? <laughs> oh! Look who it is. Ken is 
Ken is in the house. Current mood after today. And this microphone, if this camera would stop moving, it'd be even better. So, all right. Current mood after today. How about that? So, anyway, how you been? I haven't talked to you in about four hours. <laughs> Has it been that long? It's, it, 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 feels like, it feels like less. It feels like less Three, I don't know. <laughs> it feels like less time. Uh, welcome, Ken. How are you doing tonight, my brother? How, how's, how are things? It, it, it's been a minute since I've come on a Friday stream with you, actually. Like, it used it's to be true. kind of a regular thing. And then all of a sudden, I don't know, like, I just declared that I was busy or something. And, you know, because you're so respectful, you, like, respected it right away. And now I'm kind of like, hey, let's let me crash your Friday stream. Okay. <laughs> you know, no hesitation whatsoever. But, um, you know, thanks for all you did for Delta 17. Um, I know we were in development of the line for a good three years before um, I started kind of just, you know, inside baseball. I was kind of venting to Jay one night about we don't really have a great distribution plan. And he's like, what do you got for a website? And I'm like, well, we are looking for a web guy. Can you help us? And you're like, well, I kind of know how to do that. So, like, <laughs> just Hold on, hold on five minutes. I'll never forget because Brick something was talking to us backstage on StreamYard that night. And I, I, I go on the phone, I come back, and I'm like, can I send um, Steve the StreamYard link? And next thing you know, you two connected. We talked for about an hour and a half that night. We did. And next thing we knew, you were a webmaster, somewhat of an ambassador for the brand, and now you're going to be helping us do some like lettering stuff for the comic um, coming up. So now you're very much in the brand as of like last like June or July or whenever that was like, you know, um, and it was just on time too, because we were like, what do we do? Who do we ask? And if we can keep it within the circle, even better. You know, it's been an absolute pleasure working with, with you guys. And, you know, we might as well bring in the mastermind for this entire uh, you know, endeavor. I mean, like, uh, without him, there would be no Delta 17. Yeah, he, guys, he, he's please. master mold. I'm just a sentinel. <laughs> He'll get the job. He's a Marvel guy. 100%. 100%. Uh, I totally agree with that one. Uh, guys, please help, help us welcome Delta 17 himself. What's going on, Steve? How you doing? Hey, guys. How you doing? Oh, my gosh. Look at that lineup. It is just absolutely incredible. As a matter of fact, check this out, everybody. Wow. Look at that setup. It is Delta 17 headquarters. Holy crap. I feel like uh, an infomercial where it's like, all of these can be yours today. <laughs> Right. <laughs> and you need to say it in that tone of voice. Yeah. It was perfect. Ooh. It was perfect. Um, congratulations on the launch today. So, guys, if you didn't Thank already you. know, um, and we might as well bring it up now. Uh, if you didn't, if you guys didn't already know, uh, Delta 17 actually had a uh, launch today. So if you head over to delta 17.com uh, and click on their store link. Delta 17 uh, you guys, toys, toys. You guys, that's right. Delta yeah, every, every, everyone gets that wrong. Toy soldiers yep. got it wrong earlier too. Sorry about that, guy. Sorry so, about that. That's all good. Everyone and gets I it built, wrong. And I built the damn thing. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> Delta 17 toyscom um, Yeah, and and basically click on store. It will lead you to the store page where you can pick up every single uh, figure that is available right now on Delta 17, and it's been going gangbusters from what I understand. Uh, yeah. Nonstop orders all day. Uh, guys, tell us about Delta 17 and uh, how things have been going uh, in the world of the, 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 um, the, in, in the, the war in the shadows. How has the war in the shadows been progressing uh, for Delta 17, guys? Let, 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 like, tell everybody here at home uh, what's been going on today because it's been bonkers. It's been absolutely bonkers. Um, uh, who wants to go first? Uh, Ken? Uh, Steve? <laughs> I know. Right? Well, for so for for wave two, we got a character who's not very tall. He carries a belt around that he didn't actually win. Um, you know, he likes to cosplay as the hitman, except that you know the hitman's a few inches taller and can actually pull off a sharpshooter. And he's just really loud and likes transformers. Um, that idea got shot down very quickly. Yeah. And I was back on photocopying uh duty for a little while. Right, right, right. Um yeah, but the uh, the toner in the print in, 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 in the printer has been changed recently, Steve. So other than mm -hmm. that, yeah. Next thing next next thing is the coffee machine. Yeah. Um and I promise my next character submission will actually be good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're low on magenta. We need more magenta. Jeez. And the toner. Yeah, yeah. No, come on, man. Don't underplay it. I was playing up the belt. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right. Underplaying everything else. 
Yeah. But seriously, yeah. how's it been, guys? Like, uh, how 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 how's it been on the first launch? Uh, it's you know, been with, insane. Uh, I yeah. was expecting good things. I was. I told my wife, "Okay, here's here's a big number. This is what I think we'll bring in today." She's like, "Yeah, right." And I'm like, "That's 10k over my my realistic number." We went way past that. So I, you know, I was thinking. I don't want to say numbers, but this is for sure we'll do. This is my hopeful, like, you know, big picture number up here. We went and almost doubled that. So um, <clears throat> I don't, it's it's just been shocking. People have been very good. And um, there's a few that missed their discounts. They just got hyped up. They went in. So if you want, just contact us at uh, contact at delta17toys.com. Uh, send us your name, your order number. So far, I've refunded three people. Like, I'll sit there, I'll calculate out, okay, you, you lost whatever, $19.99. And I'll apply it as a refund. I cannot cancel any orders. As soon as I hand it off to the fulfillment center, it becomes un uncancelable. That's, that's in their hands. They won't let me do it no matter if I absolutely demand it. And I think it's the right thing to do or whatever. Like, hey, let's try this order again, right? It's just like, nope, you've handed it off. The minute I press that button, it's it's done, which is which is a bit silly, but uh, that's just the way they work. Um, but what I have been able to do is is issue partial refunds in the amount of of the discount in case they missed it. So it's kind of neat. Absolutely. Um, well, when we were talking like earlier, you, you were out of the house, I think having dinner with a friend and it was not quite dinner time for me yet. And I was like, Steve, the orders are still pouring in like every few minutes. I mean, it slowed down a bit right now, but the way we set up yeah. that launch, you know, we, we set it up what, like just before 3 PM Eastern time, right? We were trying to time it. So it's a Friday afternoon. People are just getting off of work <laughs> in the East coast. Yeah. Um, people are just going for lunch on the West coast. People in New Zealand, Australia haven't woken up yet, and people in the UK are just about to go to bed. That was the idea. It was your idea, though, to launch it on a Friday because we looked at a Tuesday. We're like, you know, we're almost done all, all this beta testing we were going to do. And then um, and, and then you're like, what if we do a 3 two, one count now? And I'm like, yeah, that's a fantastic idea. And that's exactly how, how it went. Yeah, yeah, it seemed to work, hopefully. Um, I, it was it was just, yeah, I was really shocked. I was blown away by the by the reaction. It was a bit overwhelming in a way. It's like, holy cow. So well, I, I mean, from our invest from from the investment budget that you were able to to procure a, a couple of years back, um, you were paying sculptors, you're paying factory tooling. It got to yep. the point where we were paying, you know, lead testing lawyers to do trademarks do up our everything from our shareholders agreement that's 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 pricey you know you oh, moved yeah. across the country and everything like that although that's that's not part of the budget here it was nice to see some money actually flow in the other way mm -hmm. because i felt like since 2020 it's been money going out then money going out and when you think there's no more money going out there's even more going out and it's oh, an amount yeah. that we're like we're like, wait, what do you mean we got to pay for lead testing? Well, um, what yeah. do you mean the truck's going to cost that much to, to get across? Uh, well, we're almost there. We're almost at the finish line. And I, we all got really antsy this week because it's like, you know, and our we're trying to figure out how to use the uh, um, the payment site, Shopify, and we're trying to figure that out and everything. And we're like, I hope that there's no technical showstoppers on this end. You know, we had to work through a lot of glitches. And we were just, we were working on that right up until yesterday. I don't yep. think we were confident we would launch until either yesterday or even like two hours before we launched this morning. And then we're like, this is, this is going to happen, you know? Yeah. It, it almost seemed like this mythical unreachable, you know, like the Loch Ness for a while there. Like, cause we were just like, just give us two weeks, just give us two weeks. And it, those two weeks just mm -hmm. kept adding up to months. And it's like, Holy cow, these poor people, right? April 12th, 2024. That's the date on the calendar. That was the official birth date of Delta 17. Yeah, yeah. The product Pretty date. wild. You know, Pretty wild. It's existed as a company for, I mean, 5x5 five five Toys has existed as a company for a few years now. Yeah, right? yeah, so, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I do want to say congratulations to you guys because it's been a long road, like a, a, a really wrong. Um, you, you, you guys... Uh, a lot of you guys uh, who who are toy fans, and all of us are are, are toy fans, but you really don't have any idea um, until you actually start doing this stuff. 
right? I, I myself have now been privy to just a small fraction of what it actually takes to build a toy. Like, and, and, and you know, from concept to, to uh, the sculpting, to the creation, to the actual uh, tool and die and all that stuff, and, and the, the money. The money mm. is just absolutely it absolutely just free. flows out, man. Like yeah. if you if you thought you spent enough, you haven't. And then you finish and you delivered, and all of a sudden you have to spend even more money, right? Because that's actually what, what Ken was alluding to. The fact that to get it into the US or get back into here, all of a sudden there's lead testing and it's just ridiculous thing. We're not even selling to kids. And, that, and they still have to be tested for lead. It's like what, <laughs> yeah, what yeah. Do do these things, okay? Like <laughs> when you have an idea in your head, you just kind of run with it. And then there's a lot of things like, you know, what, back in 2020, Steve, I was like, should we talk to a factory? You're like, I, I guess so. And then it became, oh, my God. how do we actually how do we actually fulfill orders? Are we just yep. going to ship everything out of Canada? Are we going to make a trip to the States once a week? But what if there's 160 boxes? That's not going to fit in the car. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. And then it becomes a case of, you know, everything fell into place. Like um, Ben from the Skeletron RoboSkull team ended up becoming very good friends with us. And as this thing, I think it was when this was, when the items were on a boat on the way from China to Canada is when he contacted us and said, by the way, do you actually have a fulfillment plan? And we talked about, you know, you driving to the border once a week after packing dozens right. and dozens, if not hundreds of boxes, maybe. I, we don't know what the, we don't know what the order numbers are going to look like long term. Yeah. Um, and then he was like, I think I need to put you in, in touch with my fulfillment guy in New Jersey. And we're like, so what's a fulfillment center? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it ended up being probably the best thing ever. Right. Yeah. yeah. The, the um, more. Saving time. Because if, if you're sitting there packing orders or if you're sending stuff to the West Coast for me to pack orders on this end, you know, what are we not doing? We're not working on, on the brand. Everything, right? yeah. Um, Comic story, wave two vehicles, etc. Yeah. The big stuff. Yes. Now, now, if you were set up fully to the point where you could have a back area <laughs> where, where you were to do to do some some orders yourself, but hire staff to do to do orders, that may have worked, Steve. But we still weren't in that position. No, right? and fulfillment, and another fulfillment for us made sense. Yeah, and another thing is like I'm only seven minutes away from the American border, but there's a guy there that hates my guts. He almost attacked me a couple of days ago. He was reefing on my car door, trying to get in. He's just like, open this door, open this door. I was like, holy shit, dude, what's wrong? He's like, who are you? He's screaming at me. And I'm like, you know exactly who I am. And he starts rifling through my truck and then he just tells me to get that F out of there. I was heading back into Canada and he threw the gate down when he saw me coming. He's not supposed to stop me on the American side when I'm heading back to Canada, right? I mean, I think they can, but it's really unusual. And the dude just, I was like, holy cow. Can you, can you file a complaint? Because you're going to need to take a truck down to Joe Fest at some point, and he's going to, and he does, he won't care. Yeah, I'm thinking of it. I don't know. I don't want to ruffle his feathers yeah. all that much more it, at the same it's time. Better if you, it's better if you don't. They can ban you in a, in a second. Like, so. Yeah. You just deal with it, and he's he's just he's just power tripping. They all do like a lot of guards do that. So yeah, it was it was just a really extreme. I thought he was going to rip my door handle off and all sorts of stuff. Like he was he was so he slides his door open right. He he comes out of this door, he slid it open, but he didn't slide it open far enough to get himself through. So he got his plate carrier stuck on there. He's ramming himself through the doorway as he's yelling at me. And I'm just like, this guy's like a dog on a chain. This is insane. Anyways, enough about that. Let's talk toys. <laughs> but, but, but I am dead worried about how what he's going to do when, when you're trying to bring the truck down for Joe Fest. I'll just go through a different crossing, a more professional say, one. You, you, is, you is, 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 there, is there another crossing nearby? Yeah, it's about 20 minutes the other way. It's much more professional. I'll get everything brokered through. So why, don't you, it's all, why, don't, why don't you do that every time? Yeah, because it's like seven minutes plus 20 and then and then down. You know, just to do it every time, I just want to cross right over, get home as fast as possible. So I, I don't think you should welcome the headache. Eh, this is just the one time. We'll see if he does it again. If he well, does, you know what, then... though, it, it's been a few months since I've heard you tell a story about that dude. Well, yeah, that's I haven't I haven't crossed. Well, it's been about a month. There was a month where I didn't cross very much. So. Yeah. So, anyways, sorry. You know, yeah. So, so maybe uh, it's everyone he doesn't like. Maybe it's not just uh, you. Yeah. I'm no. I'm, I'm curious. Um, what? What? Who is the best seller right now? What? The, because earlier we we talked about best sellers. Who's the best seller uh, presently right now? Who, like, uh, I I just looked. So. 
still Thunder Battalion if we're talking individuals. Wow. Having yeah, said wow. that, if you combine Delta Squad A, which is this one, and Delta Squad B, which is the uh, the darker uh, skin tone, if you combine the two, um, because they're both technically Delta Squadron and they're both the same mold, just with a different different paint paint app on the face for ethnicity reasons, um, it's technically Delta um, A yeah. slash B. Incredible! Holy crap! Right. Um, the so so the good guys the good guys are technically beating out the bad guys. Um, outside of that, who's the next? Who's the next most popular character? Well, it goes um, them, and then Thunder Battalion, and then Okami. No, but yeah. I mean, like, yeah. So Okami's next, um, yeah. and then after that, like, any 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 standouts? Rooster, Rooster is next, oh, and then good. Death Sparrow finally caught up. For a while there, she was lagging way behind. I was like, guys, are you serious? Like, this is one of our <laughs> one of our best. I I thought, you know, and so all of a sudden it's like, doo -doo -doo -doo, she caught up with all the rest and. The good news is, is it looks like we don't have a peg warmer so far. Like it, yes. everyone, yeah, the, the the other six are all in generally in the same area. There's no one that's lagging way behind. So we don't have a crystal ball yet, like, like the character. Literally the character crystal yeah, ball. Yeah, the character, you know, so we're, we're good, right, so far. You know what? The bottom two individual sellers are Delta Squad A and B. They are literally 11th and 12th. But if you add them together, they're number one. Wow. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, yeah that's right. Because like, had had we and we don't normally do this for O ring figures unless unless you're awesome like Skeletron. Okay, we're pretty awesome. But you know, if we if we put the swappable head instead of mm -hmm. making a separate, because we didn't think of that, right? Then if you combine, then I, I think it would have been number one. Right? Well, I thought I thought of it, but I, I wasn't. Like we want to expand beyond the collector's market where where you know we're all used to that as 40, 50 year old, you know people but with just with kids you know it's a lot of them don't don't know how to swap out an o-ring or, or do all that stuff i'd love to teach them at the same time because that's a lot of fun for them too but it was kind of like yeah hey, let's just split up the order instead of doing you know blank amount of that army builder let's split it into so and so many for alpha and so and so many for bravo and it will uh, uh, you know equal the same amount as the mm -hmm. thunder battalion or the okami but it just gives people a couple of options. But the, that's pretty good. And you're right. I mean, because Death Sparrow, Shepard, and Leo are almost identical in sales. And Rooster's like a few above that. And then yep. Shadow Dragon, Jaguar, Kestrel, and Preacher are almost identical. Like these are, they're within 10 of each other. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Shadow Dragon's been doing really well. Some people, like I've seen multiple orders where they're ordering. You know, you think he's doing them. really well. He's in the middle of the pack as far as the 12 are concerned. And that's still right. good. Because yeah, he's, he's an individual, he's not a he's not a troop builder, so that's pretty good. But I've seen people that are buying him like he's a troop builder. Like there's been quite a few orders where they're like two or three of this guy, and I'm like, okay, but you know, I don't know what you're gonna do with him. You know, like it's kind of neat though. I, I'm I'm so impressed. I'm so impressed at um, and, and don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong. Uh, I had the same reaction with flip or you know what i mean when when mm. when the orders just started fl flowing in and just it looked like yeah. it was uncontrollable um but it, it's one of these things where you can never really anticipate you know you're on bated breath at the end of the day right like like the three of us uh we were testing and testing and testing and you know finally getting the the fulfillment center to to cooperate and uh mm. sorry not them but but shopify sorry our 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 our, our, our store to, to, to cooperate with our our payment our, our our fulfillment center you know yeah. there were so many things happening behind the scenes that it just seems it just seems like is there anything else that can go wrong right now and finally everything yeah. seemed to come together it's a magical moment and we're yeah. like let's do this before it breaks again <laughs> right know, it was all these stupid things and once the once the once it started happening it's like it's like the floodgates opened up right yeah. so it was crazy uh pedro almeida, uh, almeida says question are there going to be any new female characters in wave 2 Helicopter pilots, perhaps? <laughs> uh, yeah, well, of course. There's always, like, one thing that we're committed to doing, um, which which will seem like a bit of a pattern going forward. Like, in this wave one, we have two females. We're probably going to go with that. Um, try to go with that in every wave, about two females. Uh, there will always be army builders. Uh like for wave two, the hard part right now is we're going to do a minimum of 12 figures. You don't really want to just repaint old tooling and say, there you go, right? We want to do all new tooling for 
for the 12. We're going to try our best. Uh, the problem is that I've I've created about 35 characters, and I don't know which ones to choose because they're all really good. And like, since we have so much competition, like I love all the guys that are out there that are doing this too, but they're all really bright. And they're all on the verge of doing what we're about to do because we're all sort of playing in, the, in a similar sandbox, right? So it's always, it's kind of like, well, if I'm working on a figure and so-and-so is working on a figure over there, we're talking thousands and thousands of dollars, right, in development. And then we come out at the same time, it's like ants and bugs life, right? And it's like, ah, crap. And you don't mean to... You know, you you say that I say it's like it's like raw and nitro in nineteen in the nineteen nineties. You okay. just you just uh, you just end up. Uh, I, I know it, it's for you, but all the wrestling fans are going raw and nitro. It was they're channel surfing between whether they want to watch WWE or WCW. You know? oh, okay, and okay, it was so good that you that you'd have to set the VCR for one and watch watch it later on. And you channel yeah. surf between commercial breaks. So, but nice. that's me with my pie in the sky approach versus you with your more practical, even keeled approach. Well, yeah, it just makes it difficult because you don't want to step on each other's toes. You don't want to do anything like that. And uh, so I'm, I'm in, you know, we're developing wave two. It's just really hard to choose what to, what to put out. I've got the filtered list on a word document somewhere. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's there's a lot more I haven't told you about. Crash, I know. Says, Crash says Ken, Steve, Mega J, good to see you, Crash. And I was just Ken, talking to him earlier. Yeah. And Crash, thank you for becoming a channel member. I really appreciate it, my friend. Thank you so much. Uh, Justin, is there anything that can be done to ease shipping to Canada for Delta Seventeen? It was like fifteen dollars USD to ship to Ontario, and that was for one figure. Um, that's interesting. Um, I wonder. I wonder if it's. Uh, but I think if you combine the, if you if you buy a whole bunch of them, though, uh, Justin, I think it, it would definitely save you money. Shipping on that, that much for one figure? I thought it was like eleven Canadian for one figure. Canadian shipping it, sucks. Uh, yeah, Canadian, no, I know, but but I didn't think it was fifteen U.S. Anyway, maybe yeah. maybe I haven't looked at what shipping cost Ontario there, or is there is there a chance that that was quoted out of New Jersey, to, like our New Jersey center to Ontario? Yeah, I doubt it. it. No, There's no way I mean, we're, we're not set up that way. So what has no, to come from yeah, Canada? Not. We're, We're set up separately. I thought the rates would be like including tax, maybe fifteen Canadian tops. Anyway, uh, I'm surprised it was fifteen US. Anyway, oh, that's uh, Justin, I, yeah, yeah. Justin, I, I will yeah. say, Justin, I will say that if you decide to pick up two or more, I think you'll see the price drop considerably. And if you pick up more than six, you get a ten percent off uh, on 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 uh, the entire there the entire go. figure uh, with code, uh, which is Delta ten, Delta 10 off. off. Yes. So don't. So please. Uh, take advantage God, of that. There's got to be a way we can. I wish there was a way we could we could automatically have that go in. Anyway, it doesn't matter. There might be. I got to look into it. But we may, yeah. maybe there's a maybe there's a, a URL which we can just like put in the chat. Yeah. Uh, I'll I'll double check yeah. uh, when when we have when we have yeah. a moment. Anyway. Um, Yo, Joe C. Also uh, dove into the uh, Delta Seventeen uh, pool that, today. Yeah. Uh, long live O Ring. Yes, yes. Uh, Yo, Joe C. Thank you so much for that. Cute cult. Maybe Zor will come with Mondo Sorceress. You never know. I hope she will. Uh, we we never we never know that. Of course, Crash is 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 a big supporter. Thank you so much, my friend. Um, we will look into it, Justin. Like uh, the, yeah, you know, Jay, we'll maybe maybe Jay, if you want to do a fake order because you're in Ontario, uh, see yeah. what the shipping comes up to because it shouldn't be 15 American. Holy cow! Because we're supposed yeah. to be on this Shopify system that saves us big money with Canada Post and all this other stuff, right? If you were going uh, to the post office, if you're going to the post office now, like just just as a regular consumer without a business account, then oh, it might cost that much. Also, yeah. Justin, what 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 option did you choose? There were three options. You know, so there we go. That's a good point. I will I will try all three options and see which one comes. Yeah, up. if if it's if it's if it's just the expedited parcel, I, I don't think it would, it would yeah. cost that. And much. You can, but you're right. If you, you chose Express Post, heard, maybe. You can rest assured, Justin, that we will take care of your package, whichever version you choose. Um, so I will try it though. Rodimus Prime found a Beast Wars Silver Bolt at GameStop yesterday after work. Really? Oh, Holy cool! Crap. <laughs> that that's uh, that's awesome. Uh, good to see you, Web uh, Cobweb Collector. Uh, thank you so much for being here tonight. Uh, Rodimus Prime O Rings Rock. Yes, they do. The o Rings. Nice. Rock. Uh, Justin, do you guys plan on doing any other O Ring lines? Well, not <laughs> Ghostbusters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, 
we're going to come up with a girl's line down the line a couple of years from now. Uh, whether or not that involves O-rings, I'm not sure, but uh, it's it's been it's been all, a lot of it's been drawn out on paper. It just needs to go to a further development phase. It'll be a longer longer haul than this will be. So. Yeah, but the, but the in terms of like more figures, that is definitely in the works, one hundred percent. So yeah, yeah, yeah. As far as Delta Seventeen goes, there'll be lots more O rings. Uh, as far as another toy line, you know, like uh, Shamabov or what? I don't have no idea. Trying to come up with something. Nah, not right now. I mean, you never know. A license store might come in and say, you know, why don't we license this to you and we use your buck? But then we'd have to look at what the deal looks like. So it's like a never say never scenario. But at the same yeah. time, it's like we have what we what we're thinking to do, and we only have so much bandwidth for that. So we, in order for someone to make a big loud noise and say, "Can you make this instead?" There'd have to be a lot in it for us, right? There, yeah, they'd have to come with some some good money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alton Troy, oh dang, I'm late, and Ken's got the belt. He's out of control, y'all. <laughs> well, I was talking to Alex Allison in the chat earlier. We were just having some friendly uh, friendly chatter. And friendly chatter there, so, you know. <laughs> nice. Ken you know. is out of control. We need that. Um, we, we, Allison, you have my you have my permission to put that on a shirt. <laughs> Todd C, congrats <laughs> on the launch. Uh, congrats, congrats on the launch, and best wishes to Delta Seventeen. Awesome. Thank you, thank Todd. you, thanks, Todd. Um, Ken, you'll need to get some Hitman shades to go with that belt. He has. I have, I have a set, but they're, they're, but they're signed, so I don't like to wear them too often. So, you know. He does have them. He does have yes. them. They, they, they do exist. Um, lots, lots of great comments coming in from everybody. Thank you so much for being here tonight. Um, but uh, Justin's going to go back again. Yes, we'll, we'll, I'll, yeah. we'll try to figure something out for you, Justin. We, we, we will. We'll, yeah, ho hopefully we'll there's like an exped happens. expedited parcel or even a regular parcel option that's cheaper than that. You know, having yeah. said that, try putting two figures in your cart and seeing it. Like maybe the shipping only jumps up a dollar. You know what I mean? And then it's worth it or more worth it. Uh, Kenzo Creations, duplicate ship from Mattel Creations. What? Get out of town. That's really? a lie. <laughs> That's a lie. Mattel Kenzo. Creations has been having all sorts of problems. So. Oh, no. But, but dude, du du duplicate was ordered like a year and a half ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel been... like duplicate has been Whoa. a long time. Right? <laughs> I got to check that. Uh, Dave Sinelli, hey, pop up ads running during the live stream. Sorry about that, brother. Uh, it does happen sometimes, though. Yeah. Uh, Mario, what's going on, brother? How are you doing tonight? Good to see you. Sorry, after Kenzo's comment, that was like, is that the second run of Duplica or the first run? <laughs> it was like what I was the thinking. third or fourth run, but but it's more it's more like just the distribution is just absolutely hor 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 horrendous there. Yeah. Um, having said that, uh, I, I, to be perfectly honest with you, uh, we we all know who we who, who is the fan favorite among us uh, to actually be the best in sales. Because I think I'm a bit, I'm not, I'm not wholly, oh, I'm not overly surprised. It's the, it's the army builders that are selling the best. But who, who would we have wanted uh, to be number one? Ken, who, who is your, who is your fan favorite uh, for number one? Shepard was my Shepard. Shepard would have been a good one. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, and uh, and Steve, who, just... who, who, who was yours? Who, who are you thinking? Uh, it's like asking a dad who his favorite kid is. I mean, I don't know. I love, I love so many of them. Shepard, the team leader in the middle there. Yeah, he's Shepard was done really, really well. Tommy was kind of like, he seriously there wanted you me to add more and more pouches. And it was just like, yeah, more pouches, dude. Like, let's put this guy together. Like, because there's a lot of modern uh, soldiers out there that gear up really heavy like that. And but I know I, who your favorite sculpt is, but I've always, I don't actually know if it's your favorite character. I just know it's your favorite sculpt. Why don't you show us who your favorite sculpt was? Talking to me? Yes. Oh, I don't know which one. Oh, has, has it changed since then in the past? Few mm, months? Which one were you thinking? You, you told me it was Rooster a while ago. It was your favorite sculpt. Oh, um, sculpt, not necessarily character, but sculpt. Yeah, yeah. I would think it's it's just so well done. It's it's balanced. It's, it's really really well done. Um, and, you know, surprisingly, this was Tommy's first figure that he made for the line, right? Like, usually a guy will find his way or his it was the first bio. It was the first bio we completed. I think we wrote that bio in either the summer of 2020 or summer of 2021. I got to check the last save version of my Word file. But yeah. it was, it, that bio is either three years old or four years old. So Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So but there's, there's so many here that I just, oh, man. 
you know, I love Kestrel, Shepherd, Rooster, you know, um, man, there's so many that I like. Delta is really cool. Preacher is really funky. I don't know. You know, there's stuff that's more my style and then there's stuff that's <laughs> nice. And then there's stuff that's more fantastical that people, you know, more toy related and, and not so much military and people are really digging those. And so it's, you know, it's different. Yeah. I, I was actually, build, I, I actually thought, um, um, that shepherd would have been uh, up there, uh, just mm -hmm. because of the way he looks. Like and, and like Ken said, um, his overall look. But I, I really was. You know what uh, though? He's he's selling well. It's just there's about four characters ahead of him. That's all. Yeah, but I, I was Maybe also um, I was also uh, sort of looking at Leonidas, um, only because he he's got you know he's got a little he's got a little um, you know uh, companion. You know, yeah. I mean? he's he's got uh, he's Canadian for crying out loud. Come on. <laughs> Once yeah, you right. blast the story out there, then people can pick their favorite character because right now it's all about aesthetic. Yes, you can yep. read the bios a little bit, but the bios tell you that character in isolation. They don't right. tell you that character as part of the greater story, which is what the first issue is going to do. Well, partly uh, start establishing at least. There's yeah. an interesting. Uh, there's an interesting idea. License <laughs> the A team alumni Delta Seventeen. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. nice. That would be a, a, an interesting. Else Worlds version. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, what if, uh, uh, Allison Troy? It was the pre-sale from earlier this year. Duplico also showed. That's crazy. That is still. That's a long, long time. That that's it, it's almost uh, incon inconceivable. Uh, Ashman fifty five. Can you make oversized owning figures a la corpse and crook, uh, cops and crooks uh, type characters inside? There's there's another interesting idea. I don't know. Is is that at all in the works? Um, no, it's. Yeah. We just can't diversify too much. I mean, everything that you do in the realm of tooling is so expensive it you know is. It is it's ridiculous. just crazy money i mean each one of these guys i don't even want to mention you know what they go for we'll just leave that alone it's a lot um chicken side toys is making the four inch cops figures though oh right so. yeah you know and leave it to them i mean they're going to do a great job you know people like them and fresh monkey fiction and those they're they're really good at diversifying into these different these different brands and stuff and bringing up some beautiful stuff. I mean, I just got some fresh monkey fiction tick figures in the mail like two days ago and I just love them. They're awesome. That's right. I keep forgetting you're a big fan of the tick of all things. Oh, like, yeah. Cause like Sweet. everyone has their favorite franchise, oh. right? Like for me and Steve, it's probably GI Joe at the top. Yeah. Right. You can argue Transformers is like a 1A, 1B to me. For him, it goes like Marvel next. And then it's like the tick after that. I'm like the tick, really? <laughs> you know? Yeah, Silver Team out. Apparently, it's the tick. The tick is what's happening right now. So good to see yeah. Silver Team out. Um, oh, Kenzo's collection. I got a Shadow Dragon from my collection. Nice. I saw. Nice. I saw your order. Great. I saw your order. Yeah. Great. You know he he is yeah, an incredible you. character, bar none. And of course, he sits on the throne that no one else can 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 make. So I noticed stuff. you used that in your thumbnail tag, and I'm like, yes, yeah, you found great, that photo. Yeah. A great it's a great photo i mean like why why not why not use it it's amazing. Well, it also gives a shout out to gridiron studios who are good yep. friends of ours mm -hmm. right and while, while yep. people are always and i don't blame them they don't like the pricing of gridiron stuff but that throne is not badly priced so it, it, no, you know, it's it, not it, it's a perfect scale and you know it looks yeah. really good. it's 30 bucks for that throne it's not bad right my good friend Neil Celestia is in the house. What's going on, Neil Celestia? <laughs> I will be seeing you hopefully soon. Mega J with his late night streams. Good goodness, dude. When do you sleep? Just pop it in to say hi. Stay awesome this day. You too. You stay awesome, Neil Celestia. I miss you already. Um, uh, Kenzo's Creations. Not a lie. Spoken, Jay. Uh, ha, ha, I'm not going to say it this time, you asshole. Um, <clears throat> crash. I use Rooster like my, my like Billy from Predator. Ah. Yep. Yep. Ah. Hopefully he doesn't get shot in the chest. Yeah, um, right. Justin Mohan, Fresh Monkey Fiction has cops license. Who knows how long they will take, though? Uh, that is true. They do take quite a bit mm -hmm. of time. But you know what? Toys are not easy to make, guys. Let's no. tell you, toys are not easy to make. Okay. No, we got a lot of people that are, you know, they're excited and they're like, all right, let's do, you know, wave two now. Let's do it. It's just the wave one just opened up today. You know, yeah. it's like simmer, you know, it'll, it'll take us probably a year and a half before we see wave two. Hmm, commando o-rings interesting we got some, yeah. good, some decent ideas here uh Rodimus prime uh wonder what's going on with super 7's gi joe o-ring line 
honestly, mm. it's gonna take a while. Like, th- like they're pumping out reaction figures like it's going out of style, but compared to that, O rings are a completely different game. Like, there's more articulation. There's pins. There's the O ring itself. Yep. There's a hook. You know what I mean? Like, uh, all, complete articulation with the head. You know, it's a completely different ball of wax. So it's gonna take them a long time to develop that one. Uh, yeah, like their reaction, their reaction figures. I'm pretty sure you can get the whole body onto one block, and they're they're using PVC as well, which is a easier plastic to work with. You you can have undercuts of different kinds. It'll it'll pop out no problem. You can't have even a, a micrometer of an undercut on ABS, right? So it's very very different class yeah, of different figure plastic types. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Dave, I'd like a t- I'd like a talking tick. Drive the old man nuts. <laughs> yeah, I got some here in the package still. I don't know if they work though. Uh, Andrew Davis, enjoy that belt while you can. Can I've been at the gym and it's going to get ugly. <laughs> Good luck last year. You challenged me to a match. And I, go, oh, I, I forgot the belt. We can have a non-title match. <laughs> I don't got time for you, Ken. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Comics legend Jay, you mentioned that it was an expensive tooling. Why was there a decision to make 12 figures instead of just six or three? There is an interesting uh, question. That's a very fair question. Um, I wanted to come in like a pack of gorillas on bath salts. And just because if you come in with three, it's like, oh, yeah, that's cool. You know, you have three cool figures. One's red, one's blue, one's green. And they're just things you put on your shelf and you know maybe you mix them in with your joes maybe you don't but we wanted to bring in a comic that really introduced a new world it was very immersive that these characters were very very real that you would really fall in love with them write a write a really good set of stories that were like really draw draw you in drag you in and hold you there uh so it it kind of became like well we could do six we'd get out the door sooner It'd be cheaper, but it was like, well, which which of the six are we going to do? They're all important, and I want to expose them all now in the comic, and and this guy can't be without that guy, and that guy can't be, you know, and it was just like, holy cow, I don't know. It was just like, okay, let's just, it has to be done this way. Is is the only way I could see it, and as you'll see in comic book number one, there'll be one character in there that's not even in this wave, so there's we'll see a bit of that as we go uh i wish i could have had 14 i wish i could have had 16 instead of 12. 12 was a compromise for me i had to compromise down yes um i remember when we were first talking to factories and we talked to multiple um we did get asked the question that's very aggressive for um, a first wave now as we got further by the time we landed on the factory that we chose um, the project manager, once he saw what kind of, what our files looked like, he was like, well, okay, let's do it, right? Yeah. But yeah. there was a lot of doubt in the early going. They're like, really? You want to do 12 figures? You yeah, know? there was people now, that didn't want to work with us. They're like, nah, you're you're crazy. You know? Now, now, mind you, um, it varies too, right? Because if you look at Call Sign Longboard, didn't they have 11 in their first? Yeah. Wave? So so they, I think they did, they unlocked 10 and they got one during the backer kit. Right. right. So yeah. it's like well, they might have 12. Yeah, they, 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 they might have. Was, is the Crafting Ninja 12th or 11? I'm not sure. I don't it, know. And it, then it doesn't matter. They're, they they then, have a similar wave size to us. Yeah. And then Recall as well went really They high. have like 17 or 18. And technically for us, we you know, Delta A and B are kind of the same. So it's like, so do we really have 12 or do we have 11? Yeah, right? we really, so, yeah. I always say so, 11. So we basically have the same size, uh, same same size run as, as Longbow. So we're like, no, we're not that far off. So, yeah yeah it, it's really fascinating how things actually come together uh but yeah a 12 a 12 figure line in its first wave is 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 not just ambitious it's absolutely ludicrous so i know i'm not surprised um you know knowing how much it costs just because yeah. of, you know what it is it is absolutely astronomical you have you again everybody out here until you do it you have absolutely no idea walter Matier, uh hope i hope you're all doing well thanks for the taking uh, taking the time to keep us informed we we you know what it, it's it, it's it's harder than you think, and that's the thing. So yeah, definitely uh, happy to share what information we can. Yo, Joe C, uh, <laughs> he's still talking. You're still on that, are you? Uh, Ashman fifty five. I blame the invented term <coughs> peg warmer or shelf warmer for people in, uh, people's immediate demand for more. Mm. Yeah, I, I hear you, um, but you know, as kids, 
here's the funny thing about that. As kids, time flew by. You know yeah. what I mean? Literally, as kids, time time was like this. You know, a week was like a day. As we as as we as we are are getting older, you start realizing just how fa- just how how slow time really is right now. So you know what? Back in the day, it seemed like you know a wave was coming out every few weeks, but the reality is it was coming out every year. We just did not realize it. It was it was it was just absolutely crazy. Um, and when you think about how long GI Joe actually lasted, uh, you know, for its overall run, it lasted a long freaking time. So um, people just need to be patient. And you know what? This is just a great example of how, like, it's it's this just is not done. It's not done anymore. Usually, it's about you know four, maybe six characters in a wave, and you'd have to wait another year before you see the next one. Twelve characters in a wave is I, I I'll be the first to admit it. That's fucking bonkers. That is absolutely. <laughs> Nuts. Well, and thank we you. Have this, and we have this madman over here. This madman over here to to, to thank for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it, we're not quite Hasbro. Some people think you know the way they talk. It, it's almost like we're Hasbro. It's like do five vehicles, do twenty figures. I'm like, holy shit, man. Yeah. Simmer down, down, but you know, calm down. But, calm down. but GI Joe, like in the like in the eighties, like eighty six, eighty seven, they had so much stuff out. It seemed like. You know, you could go to the store once a week for the whole year, and there was always something new there because there's just so much. You know, you had the freaking Mamba, you had the this, you had the that, the Hydrofoil. It was just tons of stuff. Yeah, It was amazing. Back in the day in the 80s when the toy line was hot, hot as hell. Yeah, yeah. and and and, and um, the availability at the factory, you know, they're not fighting for the type of, uh, you know, time that they need now because, again, mm. Everybody's doing toys now. Everybody and their mother's doing toys. It's crazy. So Hasbro had the market. So it didn't Mattel. And it was pretty yeah. much just those two factories just, you know, like pumping out toys. So, yeah, you'd see a, to- a, a new wave every six months. You know what I mean? But today is a different beast, man. It's a different beast entirely. So, uh, yeah. you know, again, we're, 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 we're and that's actually why, you know, uh, that's exactly why they were saying 12 figures, you need to be in line to actually get that done. If it was just a wave of three figures, you could probably squeeze it in. But for twelve, they're like, "No, you're taking up way too much time. Like, we need to go. Yeah, we need to get this guy out of the way first before we can touch yours." So it, we it, were, it must be a struggle. Yeah, we were very uh, fortunate to bump into a new product design manager that had uh, recently parted ways with Hasbro. He was probably one of their, according to one of their top sculptors, he was one of their best uh, international contacts if not the best for overseeing projects and we just happened to bump into him right around the right time where he was just becoming solo only had a couple of projects and ken dug him up and i was like nice because we were in a no i won't say anything we were in a bit of a lineup and um we wouldn't be here that's for sure so we got out of that lineup switched over and it was just hammer down this guy and he we had some issues he'd find issues we'd send him the files which we carefully me and tommy or me and jesse carefully you know scrutinized everything we thought we had these things perfected spent a lot of time on them sent them over to him he'd find some crazy problem and i'm like ah oh, crap now we're done right and his design team they'd come up with a solution in like two days get it all fixed up they're like there you go sometimes it'd be two minutes two hours whatever it was just insane these guys are so good and they'd they'd show it back to me i'd be like whoa i thought we were screwed so it really is amazing how things can come together um uh, yeah. dolphin uh jay um uh hi and in a walk and a walk kickstarter news did you see the new reveal? The actual Raven uh, Raving sculpt on campaign page and update twenty four. Raving unlocks a two hundred sixty k. All right, let's take a quick break and uh, let's have let's have a look at what Mythic Dolphin is talking about. So this is crazy, guys. Apparently, on the uh, Mad Hatter stream, there was a reveal. Holy crap! Oh my god, did you guys know about this? Because I had no idea. Apparently, yeah. um, yep. at two hundred sixty thousand. Um, which is not too far away, actually. They oh. are right now at oh my god, they're only they're only about fifteen thousand, uh, like less than fifteen thousand away for from that from that mark. That's incredible. And then that will unlock. Wow, look at that raving. That looks good. 
raving that's was crazy good. holy yeah. crap when does that when does that elephant unlock i really want that oh, elephant. Mama? Yeah, it's a, it's not like 390 or something like it's a no, long or three four i, I it's, wish it's it a was. long way no no it's, it's over 400 it's four yeah, or 400 isn't it it's 420 he's 420 yeah, yeah. yeah. Bomba's 420, and it can still happen because, like, again, uh, as we saw with Flipboard, the last yeah. couple of days, things go bonkers. Things just go bonkers. I've, I've got Maybe. the AWOC crew with me Sunday morning, uh, my time, early afternoon, um, Eastern time. Oh, and see. let's let's hope we get, we, we get past the next few hurdles. Uh, I'm going to do a countdown for them. Uh, to count to count down the, the 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 animal warriors, we'll see how 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 well that goes because it that that live stream did really well for us uh, on on um, on on Flipboard. So I hope to help out a little yeah. bit with that. But uh, yeah, this this guy's looking crazy. Look at the look at the feather work on the arms. Yeah, that is that is bonkers. That is bonkers. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. uh, you know the 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 over the, all these new bucks, new tooling, guys. You have no idea. The expense that these guys are going through, it's not enough money. It is not like I, I I've been saying that for a long time. This is nothing. Right. This is absolutely nothing. And even if they hit their 420 goal, that's still nothing. If you think about the kind of uh, the kind of uh, you know bucks that they're looking to make, you know, what are what do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, you know, seven seven different characters, and then you have a rhino, you yeah. have an elephant. You have, uh, you know, a, a bunch of raven, uh, you know, a bunch of bird creature. That's insane. It's the lot. amount of money that's being spent on this line is ridiculous. So we need to get them up to four hundred thousand. Like we need to, we need to seriously get them up to four hundred thousand. Like that's I've been saying that ever since they 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 came on my stream. I was like, that's not enough money. That's not enough. Um, so congratulations. But you know what? Uh, they're go they're gonna hit this raven. I know that they're they're definitely gonna hit the ravens. The, uh, oh, yeah. the, the, the raving. So definitely, guys, uh, keep keep supporting this project. Get them over the hump. This is this is just not. I, I know they've already made it, but they haven't made it, guys. They have not made it. This is not well, a lot of the expensive tooling at the end, right? Yeah, mm. yeah. So, but, but again, like yeah, this is not enough. It's, it's not it's not enough money. It's just not. <laughs> like it's, it is. It's, it's a great crew over there, Jason and you know Adam and Rick. Guys. And yeah, some of the people. others, yeah, yeah. Uh, new monkey, hi Jay. Any idea when the cartoon collection Stratos and Merman are not of why the cartoon collection Stratos and Merman are not available on Amazon yet? I've ordered everything else from the line on there. Um, Amazon's funny, Amazon, Amazon, their, their overall distribution is just weird. Um, mm -hmm. keep an eye out on it though, they will eventually get them. Uh, it's probably just because of the overall um packouts that they're selling. So I would just keep I would just keep refreshing and look keep an eye out on some of the guys like Toy Habits and um, Toy Shiz, they're always up to date with the links. So best of luck to you, um, New Monkey. I'm looking forward to it too, right? So I hope you I hope you're able to grab them. Uh, Rodimus Primal, I mean, if you want you want to get cheap labor, just ask Kathleen. What the heck, dude? What the heck? what are you talking about? I don't get it. <laughs> Neither do I. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Mega Dolphin, Mega J, the first Mythic Legions Kickstarter was 34 figures unlocked. That's true. Yeah, the initial Kickstarter. That is true, yeah. but yes. Before before you get oh. before you get too far ahead of yourself. I know what you're gonna Dolphin, say. I know what you're gonna say. There's probably a lot of, of, of money behind the scenes that we don't see. Okay, like seriously, yeah, because the money the money that ra was raised is one of those things where, okay, so. Uh, it's funny too. It's interesting that Delta Seventeen never decided to actually do a fundraiser, but there's there's a lot of things behind that, right? Uh, fundraisers have pros and fundraisers have cons. So mm -hmm. you really got to look at the bigger picture on that level because uh -huh. sometimes there's money behind the scenes. I'm not going to talk too much more about that. And it looks like uh, Ken um, wants to jump in a little bit. So it, it, there's there's more to it than that because when I was okay, let's back up for a second. Um, Mythic Legions. They they set the benchmark for independent companies um, in the 2015-16 era. At the same time, Four Horsemen worked for Mattel, for Maddie Collector, and McFarlane before that. So a lot of they had a huge fan base coming over from from Maddie Collector to back them, right? So that's one of the things that when I was talking to um, B from Cherry Bomb Toys, who's just across the water from me. 
he was like, so what's what's going to draw people into the line? Um, he said, you know, you're going to need the lore out sooner than later. I'm like, I know, but we're behind on the comic. But I said, you know what? Mythic Legions, they didn't have the lore out there yet. They put the figures out, and then they put small bio cards with the figures. And then he said, yeah, but see, Four Horsemen had the reputation of coming over from um, Mattel and McFarlane, right? So what's selling yours? And I'm like, well, our main sculptor for Wave One came from Mondo, and he's like, you need to sell that. I'm like, I never even thought of that angle. Now that's why I looked like I was going to say something a second ago, Jay, because this conversation came up just a few days ago. Yeah, yeah, it's a good point. Yeah. Right, and yeah, that advent of the K wave was nuts. So good, right? Um, yeah, and now they're the benchmark for the independent companies right uh you know you know what at the end of the day it, it's amazing how many people are getting into toys right now um but I, I, as as everyone as 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 we've been talking about if you come from an industry already and you have the experience you have the know-how you have the connections it is a lot easier think about where delta 17 came from think about where we're where, where myself you know with with hatter toys we had no experience whatsoever. We had to figure this out on our own, uh, yeah. and we had to. And you know, if, if for us, you know, I, I consider ourselves lucky. We actually had a project manager uh, on 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 standby, uh, and that was just by happenstance. That 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 wasn't planned, right? Um, I imagine the the vetting process for Delta Seventeen must have been a, a freaking nightmare. Um, you know, to find somebody who actually knows what the hell they're doing. We jumped right? a few yeah. times, and the people who did know what they were doing. Um, knew what they were doing in the context of what they were making. They may not have known O-Ring, and then there are certain situations where they were just booked up. Like, they would have been our preferred person, but then they were booked up, and then the the, the group that we did get happened to be, like, really, really good, um, but they weren't super known yet. But once once we knew who was behind the scenes and the experience they had, we're like, yeah, these are the right, this is the right group. These are the right guys. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. 100%. Uh, Comic Legends. What are some of the issues that will pop up with the figures? With the figures that need fixing, I'm not. I don't understand what you mean. What do you mean by figures that need fixing? Must be the defects on the figures. But we talked a bit about the legs, the the, the leg issue earlier on on my live stream. I think Comic Legend may have jumped in the chat after that. Like hmm. the T hook, the T hook is a bit thick, so the legs may not go all the way up on both sides. Um, you can either force it a tiny bit, and they might spring back at you. Um, or um, here, have, have you got a figure to show us? Because I, I can, I can pull open the case and do yeah. It. Okay, there we go. So when when you're wanting to seat them in a in a vehicle or whatever, uh, it's it's hard on some of the figures to get both of the legs up at that nice ninety degree angle and have them stay right. You'll you can often get one leg up at that ninety degree angle, but the second one becomes a bit stubborn. I mean, this guy, this, this example isn't too bad. Mm -hmm. um, some of them are a little bit, a little bit worse than others. Uh, yeah, like, we do, we do have a new, like this Kestrel is good. That would work. Yeah, in a that one actually worked. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we do have a neat new T hook uh, designed. It's, it's done. I'll have the sample in my hands probably on Tuesday. So if there's people out there that are just like, man, this line's great, but your T-hooks suck, we, we'll, we'll figure something out that we can do. We might start sending those out for our customers. Um, but the other we'll thing you can figure. do, like Wilhelm Toy and Hobby took the T-hook and he, the, he opened the figure up and turned the T-hook around, and it seemed to increase the range of motion. Not perfect, but it seemed to work quite a bit. Yeah. And then Gaz just took a T-hook from a beater, G.I. Joe, and just and just uh, tossed it in there and it, it increased the range of motion. But you shouldn't have to do that. That's that's what we're trying to get at. It, it, it is a bummer. Um, yeah. yeah, and we're, we're really sorry about that. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just something that, you know, we're we're a new line. We're trying to do a lot. Um, and we're there's a few things that we have to learn. Like, Factories just don't make this stuff anymore. I know it looks like a simple small figure, but it's not. I mean, there's 24 parts, just plastic in one of these guys. And then there's four rivets, three screws, T-hook, O-ring. And there's a ton of paint apps. There's a whole bunch of notes for each one on the assembly. Um, there, it, it's, it's not something that factories are used to making anymore. This may have been a bit more normal in the 80s and the 90s. Now they've been just doing modern stuff for the last 
couple of decades, really. So this is a whole new thing they have to learn. So there will be there will be a failure rate. Hopefully we can keep it under 5%. Um, if you have any problems, reach out to us. We will do our best to to help you out. Like we've had we've had two figures now where the, the rivets were not pressed properly. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, we, we gave away and opened up probably I don't know, 500 figures before we opened the store. So out of those 500, we had two elbows that uh, that actually fell off, and which sucks. You know, it's like, oh, it sucks, yeah. but it's it's, it's not yeah. too bad. Yeah. You you got you really got to understand, guys, that uh, as a new company, there's going to be growing pains. Uh, but for the early adopters who help to get this to over the hump and you know fund the next set uh, of of waves, you guys are going to uh, benefit from those uh, from from these. <laughs> You know, early early um, uh, uh, efforts, early efforts, um, because this line there might be a, there might be a, a new uh, update for later down the road, and these ones right will become a bit more sought after because these were the first you know the, the first issues, yeah. and then people will basically say, oh you know what we had these and they were running errors and and you know what maybe those will actually end up becoming a little bit more sought after later down the road. It's kind of funny to hear. Errors becoming sought after, but I mean, you think about baseball cards, you think about you know uh, rare variants for like Master Universe or GI Joe, you know those yeah. are the ones that people really really get uh, get excited about. So. Uh, Steve, I seem to recall that one of the factories we talked to, they weren't even sure they could get the rivets anymore on the sides of like the. Uh, oh the yeah, no, we were talking to them for quite a while. I think it was on, over the course of two or three months, and they're just like we. We have no idea. And it's like, well, listen, I can find them on eBay and whatever else. And he's like, no, they don't make them anymore. We can't find them for you, et cetera. And then we, when we found the new product design manager, this amazing guy, he's just like, oh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll throw up a mold. We'll get them rolled. No problem. And uh, instinct, Things right? Happen. Yeah. Things happen. You just, you, you, where there's a will, there's a way. Oh, um, yeah. So this is interesting. Um, uh, apparently, Ashman Fifty Five says that if you check out uh, update number twenty four, uh, there are more sh there are more pictures of raving. Yeah, for a walk. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's have a quick look at that. Yeah. So yeah, check it out, guys. Um, Happy to jump back and forth. I was I was bugging oh, Jason yeah. yesterday about Shopify stuff. <laughs> I'm like, how long does it take payments to clear, Jason? And he's like, just be patient, man. <laughs> yeah. This is crazy. Look 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 at that. Yeah, wow. Look at that. That look is nice. That. That, that is, is cool. Nice. Holy crap. So good. I love the I love the wingspan. You know what I mean? The uh the the hand that the replaceable hands. Look 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 at the splayed hands. Those are really cool. I like mm. the way those look, right? But uh I, I like the um the samurai hat, you know what I mean? And then you got you got these assassins, you know what I mean? Like these are these are these are crazy, like awesome, awesome yeah, look for wow. these guys, just incredible. Um wow. So guys, let's get these guys up. Let's get these guys up to their. Uh, at, at, you know, we're gonna we're gonna unlock raving for sure. Not too far away now. This is very very close. Uh, Two hundred sixty thousand he unlocks. So yeah, guys, very exciting for uh, anybody uh, who's supporting the Animal Warriors of the Kingdom. Let's get these guys over the hump. This is gonna this this is gonna be crazy. Um, but uh, in terms of in terms of anything else, guys. Um, oh wait a second, actually. Um, Mythic Dolphin. They also revealed Rhino and Hippo will be ha will have opening mouths. Wow, that's crazy. Oh, uh, that's you know cool. they're they're getting better and better uh, with this line. Uh, John, I missed Tila today. I forgot it. It is at noon. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry to hear that, John. Yeah, you gotta. You, you know what? Time zones, dude. Time zones. Time zones suck. The, the three of us right here, we live in three different time zones. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to get it's it together for a live stream, member. Uh, we got we all got confused. I'm like, okay, so it's this time central, this time Pacific, this time Eastern. Like, okay, well, what when's the live stream? Like, no, that's still after, you know, right? Here, w w uh, uh, John, watch this. It's two thirty. It's two twenty five right now for me. Uh, Ken, what time is it over in your place? Eleven twenty five. And Steve, what time is it over here? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <coughs> one twenty five. See, it's like three completely different time zones. Um. So yeah, it's it's easy to get that mixed up. It's crazy. Uh, John, uh, Rodimus Prime Jay, I was making sw uh, sweatshop joke. Yeah, sweatshop joke. Okay. It uh, went completely yeah. over my head. I have no idea. <laughs> I, I can't help you there either. It yeah, make so a weird. make a wrestling joke if you want. If you want me to get <laughs> to catch the uh, catch the vibe. 
Um, comics legend, would you consider consult? Would you offer consulting services for people wanting to make their own action figure line? It, it's it's hard just to make a line like I don't even think we have time to, uh, to consult on anything. <laughs> depends depends on what kind of toy it is. You know, uh, every toy is so different. What type of plastics are used? You know, there there is a uh, some people out there that are looking for new work that I know of. Uh, you'd have to have a ton of money set aside. One of the one of the key things that we can't answer is how do you use Kickstarter? <laughs> Although, mind you, oh. Jay can answer that now. As of yeah. a week ago, you can answer or whatever you can answer yeah, that yeah, now. Yeah. Uh, ask me that like a month ago. I would tell. I would tell you. Fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. So politely, yeah. not, not not trying to deflect here, but before you do anything, you need the funds. Unless you're saying you have the funds, and then then it's a different ball game. Then we can get the step two. Right. Yeah. 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 At, so. at the end of the, at the end of the day, um, well, uh, okay, so. As a Kickstarter, first of all, you do have to have a concept ready. Like they won't even let you start unless you have a three D rendering. Um, a sketch is not going to get you past the, <laughs> the requirement stage. Correct. So you do like at the end of the day, you just first you need to have someone who can sculpt for you. After you get somebody who can sculpt for you, it doesn't matter. It can look like shit. It doesn't make a difference. But um, you know, you're asking the right questions, Comics Legend. The question in regards to what Jay said while they were sculpting the figures, the Hasbro veteran looked at the file and fixed the textures. That you didn't see, correct? That's actually what Steve said. That's actually what uh, Steve said. Um, and the the reality is, you need the right people. Okay. Yep. Uh, just just sharing some anecdotes. Um, Hatter and I, we were talking for months before we even before we even decided to pull the trigger. And it wasn't until we found a three D sculptor who could actually do anything. That's when we decided, okay, this thing's a viable project. Before that, it wasn't even a discussion. Like we were like, ah, it's kind of fun, a good idea, whatever, whatever. And finally, once things started to come together, uh, that's what happens. And for us, it was just a, a, a bunch of um, uh, incredible uh, circumstances that, that brought this together. So, uh, what I would say, Comic Legend, is right off the bat, put your idea together, get it on paper, then research somebody and if anything, we can probably point you in the right direction of somebody who can help you, like, you know, a, a good 3D sculptor or whatever. But expect to be paying a lot of money. Like, uh, like sculpting is not cheap. You're looking oh, yeah. at quite a, quite a bit of money in sculpting. So, um, yeah, if it's if it, it depends, you know, if it's a really simple figure, you might be able to get away with between two to three grand American. If it's highly articulated, you're you're going to be four to five. Um, but you know, first you have to have the buck fully engineered so that it really, really works and it's at all the right tolerances and all that stuff. Yeah, he's talking and about the blank, the, just the blank figure before you've yeah, there anything. Nothing on it. on it. And that that'll cost right. you probably, you know, um, I don't know, anywhere between five. Uh, it's hard to say, you know, three to five grand for just for the buck, just the blank. Yeah. I will say uh, though, I will say though that in order to get a Kickstarter going, you probably just need a static figure, literally just a He-Man figure for the most part, just a statue. Well, because right? Kickstarter can't vet it. Right? Exactly. That's the point. It just needs to get past that stage. If you can the initial screening, a, yeah. If you can just get a statue going, you're okay. And statues are they're not that expensive. You, you, you can get you can get a, if you go to Etsy, you can probably get a really cheap one for about five hundred bucks. If you if you if you're gonna go with someone who's you're gonna work with for a long time, you're looking at fifteen hundred to a like you know fifteen hundred to two thousand. But that's static. That is literally static, right? When you start getting into like configurations and bucks and the actual systems that have to be unique, by the way, you can't be borrowing off somebody else's system. You're going to get sued. So, you know, beware of that too. Uh, there's a lot involved. We're just going to say it that way. Um, and consulting wise, though, I don't, I don't think we're ready for that. We're, 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 we're knee deep into what we're doing right now anyway. <laughs> I mean, you know, uh, the, the further we go, the more people we meet. And, uh, with Hasbro, with all of its weird decisions, I mean, they're kicking so many talented people out the door now. It's crazy, you know. Um, they can't afford them. They just can't. Good talent is expensive, and they, they it's they, they can afford them if they would just stop the you know. But they set up their company as as a shareholder company where they're saying we guarantee two percent growth quarter after quarter. It's like that's not that doesn't exist in any planet. It doesn't happen. Nope. And maybe in the eighties for a short burst, but. 
uh, it, it's just not realistic. So you can't have your company that way anymore. But anyways, there's, there's a lot of talented people floating out there. If you, if you meet someone who knows someone soon, you're in the family and, you know, now like me and Ken, we know so many people that are just incredible. Uh, previous question. I meant Steve mentioning he had uh, reviewed the sculpt. Yeah, yeah, we already answered that question. So thank you, thank you, Comics Legend. Yeah. Um. Yeah, Yo Josie, a ton of money. That's why I said that. Um. What 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 the uh, Spear was doing? Not enough. I don't know how they're doing it. I just, well, I do know how they're doing it, kind of, but I just don't. I can't see that amount of money. Uh, they need more. They need way more. Uh, Comics Legend, thanks for answering the question. Congratulations on the launch. Looking forward to receiving the figures. Thank you, Comics thank you. Legend. Thanks, thank man. You. Are freaking awesome. Um, so uh, we're gonna start winding down, guys. But I did want to bring this up because I thought it was funny, uh, and I wanted I wanted to get my uh, my uh, um, everybody's take on this because I think this is hilarious. So uh, first of all, before anything else, guys, definitely head back over to Delta Seventeen uh, Toys dot com. Uh, I did say it. I, I, I got there. I got there. I got there. Toys. Uh, click on click on, uh, <laughs> click, on uh, click on sir. And it will send you over to the, uh, the 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 store page where you can pick up whichever figures you want because they're all selling like hotcakes right now. Get them while you yep. can, guys, because they are selling fast. So you don't want to be left out in the lurch because uh, the next run will probably be a little while. Follow Delta Seventeen Toys on Instagram uh, and all their social medias. Um, but I did want to mention this: uh, Hasbro has been doing some crazy things lately. Um, I don't even remember, uh, uh, the, like, I remember, I remember, I remember, um, I remember Hope Van Dyne. I remember Hope Van Dyne being mentioned and teased. I didn't have, I, did, did, did I fall asleep or something? Like, when did Hank Pym, um, uh, you know, Ant-Man, when did, when did Hank, Hank Pym get announced? I, I, I missed the boat on that. Was that, uh, I was totally blown away. By the fact that Hank Pym and and, the, and that they were a freaking two pack. When did this happen, guys? Like, did did, did anybody know? Uh, Ken, did you know about this? What? I, I've I've had my head in a ditch for the last little while. I used to actually search toy news, right? And now, if Toy Habits doesn't just go out of the way to tell me, I don't know anymore. Well, there's a thing too. Like, like I don't even think Toy Habits covered this because because this this was a That's shock. That's true. I would have seen it scrolling their feed, scrolling the feed, or like if yeah. I go to their website, right? This came out so, of nowhere. Yeah. This this two pack came out. Of, I mean, we sort of had an idea that that Hope Van Dyne was going to be around, right? We knew that, but Hank Pym as Ant Man, not Giant mm. Man, that yep. that was a complete like I went over my head. So yeah, I, I, uh, thoughts, everybody. Like you know, I, I know this isn't a little bit different from uh, from from our discussion now, but what is there? What like what do you guys think about this? Like Hank Pym and Hope Van Dyne. I mean, what the hell? Like seriously, where did this come from? Um, Ken, uh, you know, Steve, uh, uh, any thoughts? Well, I'm a big Marvel Legends guy. I, I buy yeah. lots of them. I've got sure. piles of them around. I really enjoy them. I did not see this coming. I just yeah. bumped into it yesterday by accident when I went to look for something else, when I went mm -hmm. to look for the Tiger Paw. Yeah. And uh, I was like, what, what's this? Where did it come from? Is this the Giant Man one? No, it's not. What the heck? You know, it's so different. I have, yeah, right. I have no idea what's going on, man. Looks good though. Yeah, uh, Ken, uh, any any thoughts? Because this this one this one threw me for a loop. I mean, I'm I'm kind of indifferent um, to this. Um, I mean, like like Brick said, the Giant Man was a surprise. He believed, and the sculpts are really really good on this. Um, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm kind of ho hum when it comes to Giant Man slash Ant Man and the yeah. Wasp. I mean, I know in Ultimate Marvel. Um, they got a bit of a boost there coming back as, as the original team from the Ultimate Marvel Universe that Mark Miller, Miller wrote in the early 2000s. But that's kind of like the extent of my exposure to them, right? And even that, e even the, the Ultimate Marvel designs were a little bit different from this. Like these are a bit more, um, at least as, as far as uh, Giant Man's concerned, it's a bit more of the classic design. Yeah, but for, for, for me though, I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm just gobsmacked at the idea that this is even a thing. Um, because, you know, I think a lot of people were screaming for an Ant Man to be included with Giant Man, and now all of a they sudden, these, these, and now all of a sudden these two come out uh, and again, seemingly out of nowhere. I know that we did see a tease of Hope Van Dyne 
uh, in digital renders. Mm -hmm. But it's such weird timing too. I mean, it, it, there's, there's, there was literally no fanfare on this. There was no right. uh, press releases. Uh, it literally just dropped. Uh, it was just such a weird thing to do. I mean, you would think because because uh, the the giant man did so well that this would have been a major announcement. But no, it just gets dropped as a pre-order one day. I, well, that's I, it's, just, it's so weird. Yeah, they did that weird thing with the tiger paw as well. That yeah. apparently it leaked out, so they just fired it out the door, and then it sold out immediately. And for anyone who's listening, if you go to Toy Snowman Toy Snowman dot com. There's probably other sites as well. They have them up for pre-order. I think they're still available. So they're not sold out at least. It's a Canadian company, but they'll ship it to you. Um, that's where I got mine. Yep. Uh, it, but yeah, what are they doing? I don't get it. Yeah, it, it's it's a very strange time for, for Hasbro right now. Um, I am glad and super happy that they are actually going back to, um, to window packaging. I think that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, very excited about that. Um, and then there comes the question, why a repaint so quickly? I mean, literally, the ATV was only like months ago, like a month ago. And now all of a sudden, out of nowhere, here comes Tiger Force. But I think it has to do with what exactly what you said, uh, Steven. This was leaked out. And for whatever reason, they had a knee-jerk reaction and decided, forget it. We're just going to go ahead and... and, well, this, and has it. the ferret even gone up for like non-Pulse members yet? Uh, I don't know if it has. The ferret, I'm, you know what? That's a good question. I don't. The think regular, so. the regular ferret. I, I thought the ferret was only up for, for pulse members. No, no, it went, it went, it went, it went to it, 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 it sold out pretty quickly. The fer the ferret already went to regular members. That was the same day, um, okay. but it sold out. It sold out very quickly. So you know, I think it, it only lasted four hours, five hours, right? Um, so I think this might have been the second chance for people, and and you know, you know, gone, right? Absolutely gone. I don't even remember um, if I got one or not. The regular <laughs> that's, funny that's, thing. that's what I mean, right? Um, yeah, yeah I, and, and there was a second. Apparently, somebody told me there was a second chance, and it was gone just as quickly, right? Uh, so, yeah, it's um, it's a it's a hard it's a hard pill to swallow for a lot of people, right? Um, yeah. So yeah, don't know what's happening with uh, with with GI Joe, uh, but it cannot be denied. Uh, it's too. It's hot as hell. Uh, so many different figures coming out. So then, military military uh, figures are just hot as hell right now. So, interesting little uh, aside here to to sort of wind down the night, uh, because yeah, Hope Van Dyne and uh, Hank Pym and the freaking ferret man. Like, sorry, the um, the tiger paw and the wreck and wreckage, just absolutely crazy conundrums. Very very strange. Very very interesting. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just a just a, a crazy crazy uh, week for toys at the end because it was really slow actually for a long time. It was pretty freaking slow. Uh, but huge thanks to uh, to, to to Delta Seventeen. Um, by the way, it's five by five toys. <laughs> Everybody knows five by five toys is Delta Seventeen toys. Com, but it's actually five by five toys. So huge thanks to uh, to Steve for and, and Ken for being here tonight. Thank you guys. Uh, it's always great to have to have you guys here on the show. Thank you guys for being here tonight. Uh, Brick something. Speaking of the devil, I got the audio mythic, uh, but I don't know how to make the shared video play to the audio stream. Whenever I share videos on the news, audio doesn't play through. Uh, I must have gotten in the middle of a different conversation here. Um, I got the audio mythic, but I. Ken, do you know what he's talking about? I got the audio mythic, but I don't know how to make shared video play the audio stream. Uh, whenever I share videos on the news. Uh, okay, so I know what you're talking about. You have to actually, you can't play it through the browser. You actually have to download the video and and up uh, and present it as a video brick. That's uh, that's actually how you have to you have to do it that way. Otherwise, there will be no audio. Um, uh, mythic, you mean just hold my phone? Okay, I don't, so, sorry. I guess you're, you're having a conversation with Mythic Dolphin. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, ignore that, Jay. Mythic and I are having a separate conversation. All right. Well, that's that's how you would do it uh, if you're sharing it on Streamyard. I don't know if you guys are are actually uh, doing that. Um, uh, Carl Snow uh, has been did a whole YouTube video on this and the update of the HasLab the day before went up. Yeah, but that's not enough time. 
Like, no. uh, like that, that did like it, uh, the, the leak happened the day, the day before that. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, just like a really quick video. It's just not, it's just not enough time. Um, I, so. I don't see why they got to freak out that something leaked like big deal. It's not like, Oh no, now no one's going to buy it unless we sell it tomorrow. Like what, what are you thinking? Right. Yeah. That makes no sense. I really don't know. Uh, it's it's crazy, and t- to me, it just pissed people off. It's 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 just yep. done. TF fan page one hundred one. What's going on, brother? Always good to see TF fan page in the chat. Uh, Brian, I'll see you when, I'll see you in the fall. I'm not coming out to Victoria this May. I know normally I see you in the springtime as well, but I'll yeah. see you in the fall. Uh, Brian is always a big supporter of the channel, and of course, if you please check out TF fan page one hundred one, guys. If you're into Transformers, you have to be on TF fan page one hundred one. Omega five seven nine giant man and wasp is not a pre order. It's shipping now. That's awesome, and I wasn't actually implying that it was a pre order. But what I am saying is that it was a freaking surprise. Just a yeah, shot. just came um, out of nowhere. Yeah, trash around my, my plastic. Yes, it was on Amazon. Well, that's great. I'm glad something is. Uh, Preternia has pictures of his. Nice, good stuff. And <laughs> Brian saying yo. Um, Ken, are you going to get uh, MP uh, Ginrai and Super Ginrai? Oh, I got to ask this the other day, too. Um, I probably won't, because for the Masterpiece stuff, I haven't been doing a lot of the Japanese characters. Okay. Um, but I, I got the original, so happy with that. And, uh, okay, sorry, I was just trying to read the uh, the uh, stuff about the Tiger Design for. Um, I yep. guess that's for the ferret. Yeah. Tiger Design is supposed to uh, yeah, yeah. yoke cone out before, uh, but due to backlash, it was supposed to come out. out. Was supposed to come out. Yeah. 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 Well, that makes sense. Uh, you know, again, the things things do happen. Things are planned, but they don't always pan out. Mm-hmm. Uh, guys, thank you again for being here tonight. It's been an absolute pleasure. TF Pan Page, Bri- uh, Brian. I know this isn't related, but I'm excited to pitch the HasLab Omega Prime. <laughs> it's kind of related. We just talked about the MP Jin Rai and Super Jin Rai, which are which are other big figures, right? So it's kind of. Do related. you think it's going to be Omega Prime? Uh, I'm, I'm, uh... No, no, no. Um, he's talking about the completed HasLab Omega Prime. Oh, campaign the one that just from finished a few months yeah, yeah, ago. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Right. Um, I, I, it looks good. I mean, like you know, they find it. It, it finally uh, was made after decades. <laughs> I mean, it, it technically was a Japanese exclusive, right? So, you know. No, cool. um, hold on. Um, the sword was a Japanese exclusive until they re- they re-released it in 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 in, uh, in the encore wave. But um, I I think in I'm trying to remember in the U.S. if I recall, um, Ultra Magnus and Fire Convoy Optimus were sold separately. And I think the gift set was only available in Japan, if I recall correctly. I have to go back to my video. I, I researched it. Purged it from my memory, unfortunately, to work on Delta 17 stuff. And then my head can only hold so much information. Yeah. But I think that, yeah, the gift set may have been exclusive to Japan, but you could buy them separately in the U.S. and still make um, and and still make um, the combined set. Gotcha. Um, so that's what they were talking about, the, uh, Mythic Dolphin. That's amazing. So hopefully you guys can work that out to, to get those uh, visuals uh, on the next live stream. Uh, again, Mythic Dolphin is a sweetheart. Uh, she uh, supports everything and just uh, makes everything better. Thank you so much for being here tonight, Mr. Dolphin. Uh, uh, Ken, Steve, let me know what 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 are your thoughts? Uh, closing words, uh, and of course, congratulations once again. Uh, what's the future for Delta Seventeen? And of course, uh, how can people uh, support the Delta Seventeen line? Wow. Okay. Uh, wow. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, follow us on the socials. Yeah. Follow us, uh, you know, check out some of the reviews and different things and see if, if this is something that you're interested in. I think uh, we definitely went the extra mile on these. We took a lot of time to make sure that the, the sculpting was done to the highest standards and different things. I think you'll really enjoy them. Anybody that doesn't have them so far, uh, as far as what's coming next, there's a lot. There's just so much in the pipe that we really want to bring out and uh, we really want to blow people away with the comic and with wave two. And we really think that wave one is very much central. All of these figures are 
pretty much evergreen figures that are central to the plot. Um, you know, there's, there's a certain amount of these guys made when they run out, we'll make another batch, but we're going to change them just slightly. So that way the, those collectors out there won't be too upset that they, you know, tried to make some money off of them or, or, or have them in that sort of a fashion. So we we want to honor the, the collector side of it by changing them when we do a second run. Um, so yeah, in the meantime, wave two is in development. The hind is in development. Uh, the comic book is almost done. I mean, almost, uh, but yeah, so far wave one is flying out the door extremely fast. We were very surprised by the amount of orders and, uh, yeah, just huge. It was like just machine gun fire straight at our heads all day long. So we're very honored. We're very grateful to all of you out there. Thank you. It's been four years coming, man. Yeah. It's been a lot a victory of work. Lap day. Good. Congratulations, guys. What an amazing, what an amazing turnout for the first day. And of course, there's just more to come. Uh, guys, definitely check out Delta17toys.com. Uh, and of course, head over towards the store. Put down your pre-orders, $24.99 uh, $24 each. And of course, if you buy six or more, you get 10% off. Uh, we are going to check on the Canadian shipping for those of you who uh, have been experiencing some interesting uh, numbers. But trust us, guys, uh, it's well worth it. And of course, we're going to we're gonna try and keep everybody happy. Uh, thank you guys for all the support. You guys are freaking amazing. Last comments before we log off. Um, Justin, uh, Ken, are you going to get... Uh, we already asked that question, sorry. Um, uh, Mythic Dolphin, uh, that is what we talked about. Thank you, th uh, thank you, Brian. We'll talk to you later. Guys, definitely check out TFM page 101. Uh, Frank Rivera, great stream. Congratulations, fellows. Good night and good journey. Greek proud, everybody. Thank you so much, Frankie. You're awesome. Mythic Dolphin, glad you enjoyed it. My daughter had fun during the narration. Use it if you can help. And of course, trash from my plastic. Quick question. I'm extremely new. I just came in late. I'm working right now. But as Delta 17, will there be six inch versions eventually? This is something that Ken really wants. And this is something that I was toying with earlier. And, um, uh... I don't know. I'm now on the fence. I used to say that, yeah, we're going to do Rooster and Death Sparrow and, and see how that goes. Now I'm on the fence. I, I guess just because I'm, I've been getting a bit uh, soured by the classified line. I love classified. I buy every one of them, even the dumb repaints that don't look good, you know, and uh, there's just some quality issues that are starting to starting to get under my skin some distribution issues some of these like you know the tiger paw it's like you know what what do you want from us which, like that. which has nothing to do with how much you love gi joe or the fact that it could could still happen you know i'm sure a lot of people would like to put rooster or death sparrow with their classified figures Just okay like, but uh, Ken is what? just pushing like crazy. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? All right, it's like all right. I'll, I'll I'll make the agenda for the next team meeting. Do we do do we make six inch figures? Or yeah. Oh, boy, here we go. All yeah, right. yeah um, it's, a, it's, it's a future consideration, guys. That's uh, but hopefully, hopefully it'll it'll come to, it'll come to pass. <laughs> right. Yeah. I mean, you know, for for now, we just we just launched. We're just selling. So even though sales have been fantastic, we still got to make so and so much to be able to fund wave two. We still got to make so and so much to pay off the the, the you know the the loan for wave one. We got it da 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 to build the next shop. Yeah. <clears throat> so Steve holds out his arm. I twist it. Yeah. If he doesn't say "ow," I give up for a while. Yeah. If he says yeah. "ow," then I try to twist it some more. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, with my shoulder, with my uh, rotator cuff injuries, it won't be too hard. So. Yeah. Guys, thank you so much for being here tonight. It's been an absolute pleasure. I want to thank my my guests, of course, uh, Delta17Toys.com. Steve, and of course, Toy Connections. Thank you so much. And guys, remember, it's five by five toys just for everybody's edification. Yeah. Uh, Pedro, Pedro um, uh, Almeida, uh, lease, lease your license to, to, uh, to Bobby Vela from Valaverse. That is a conversation for another universe. But anyway, Pedro, thank you for that comment. Uh, we will talk about that in another day. Uh, but guys, thank you so much for being here tonight. It has been an absolute pressure. Dave Sinelli, they came to snuff the rooster. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Easy, easy. But he ain't gonna die. <laughs> no, he ain't gonna die.
Comics legend, will the launch party continue into the weekend? The launch party will not stop, my friend. The launch party continues. I think he's wondering if there's going to be other streams. That's um, fine. Well, you know what? Uh, it, it, we'll we'll, we'll oh, just crash the jujitsu instructor. We'll, that's cool. Anyway, we'll just we'll just we'll just crash uh, uh, the the AWOC stream. It'll be I, I mean, um, I, I've got an AWOC stream with um, uh, that's not going to be anything to do with this on the Sunday. But I mean, I, I imagine tomorrow night on Ostradamus Toys Live, they're going to talk a little bit about this. I can try to jump in a little bit, but if I've got an early stream the next day, I probably don't want to hang around too long. Having said that, there's nothing to stop Steve from jumping on. So. And I'm pretty sure that um, Delta, uh, um, Toy Habits will also probably make a mention of it because they did a whole article on it. So you guys... Uh, I, I was just talking to Sorceress, and she and Michael are going to try to find time for us to jump on. Um, we are going to do a bit of a live stream tour, but just... just um, I haven't done a lot of live streams lately because I tend to feel really tired after them. I'm not sure what happened. Um, mm. So that's why you haven't seen me do as many live streams. But, you know, for the people that I did promise live streams to such as Toy Habits. I think I said something to Punk as well. Um, you know, we'll probably just do something with them. Yeah. All right. Well, guys, thank you again for being here. I want to thank, of course, my special guest. It's been absolutely amazing uh, hanging out with you guys. Thank you so much. Uh, here's a quick one. Will Delta 17 t-shirts be available for sale? Whoop, whoop. Uh, at, at Joe Fest, for sure. We'll have some, mm -hmm. hopefully. Um we're a little bit behind on some of the stuff because we were behind on this stuff. You know, just things just kept pushing forward. We're going to have all sorts of uh, extras at Joe Fest. And then after that, we're going to look into actually stocking the, the store at the Fulfillment Center in New Jersey. So posters, challenge coins, patches, stickers, T-shirts posters, different things like that. that in the meantime, buy a Skeletron Robo Skull shirt. They, they've got them. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, those are cool. <laughs> those are really cool. Right. All right Same guys, fulfillment looking, center. So we are looking forward to to Joe Fest, guys. Hopefully, uh, we will definitely be uh we will be there and hopefully we'll see you guys there. I believe that um Hooded Cobra Commander is gonna do his traditional um uh Hooded Cobra Commander stream, if I'm not mistaken. And we're definitely mm -hmm. gonna be contributing to that, so you guys will see us there. Uh guys. Keith, uh, uh, we'll, we'll talk about that after, but he probably won't be doing that. He'll be there. Oh, no. He'll oh, be there. No. He retired from YouTube recently. He actually announced a retirement a few days ago. Yeah. Mm. He, he'll be done. Having said that, it sounds like Cobra Convergence is still going to go ahead in some capacity. Okay. So maybe somebody else will pick it up. And, uh, or he's going to support. Yeah, he's going to support. But yes. Yeah, that is unfortunate. Uh, we will miss him. Um, and miss of Sunday, course, yeah. there is, there is no, there's no saying that he won't come back. We'll, 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 we'll hope and dream for that day. Guys, thank you so much for being here tonight. It's been an absolute pleasure. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe. And as always, everybody, thank you very much for watching. Good journey, everybody. Buy some Delta 17 toys, guys. Now. <laughs> Have a good night. Bye. Thanks. Geek Brown. <laughs>